Hey, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. What's up? How you doing? I, I wanted to play music, but I, I remember that this is not YouTube. <laughs> this is this is Facebook before they shut down my video. So I won't play music today. But how are you doing? How's everybody? How's everybody doing? It is 11 8, 11 08 p.m. here. Um it's, it's almost midnight, but I'm excited. I'm hopped up on excitement serious excitement because i'm excited about what i'm going to be showing you guys today i'm definitely going to blow your mind definitely definitely going to blow your mind yay so we are about 171 people now maybe we'll just wait for like a few people to just slide in at the last moment before we begin we'll wait for people to slide in at the last moment and then we get started so who's excited for today who is excited who's excited thank you very much for, for asking about me i am very well, thank you very much. Who's that asking about me? How am I? I'm very fine, thank you. Marcus says Coco is asking. Coco is asking about me. Hi, Coco. Yes, so I'm the one. Peter for me. Whoa, okay. Who is excited for today? I'm going to be sharing some really, really cool things with you. That when I say I'm going to blow your mind, I am going to blow your mind. I did not dress up for nothing. Okay, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. So, so, so we have 190 people there about, and I'm still waiting for my time to change to 11, 10 p.m. so that I can get started immediately. Yes, I can see people are excited. Me, I'm excited too. I'm really, 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 really excited because I me, mean, what I'm about to share with you, not a lot of people in this space, not a lot of people in our space in Nigeria. Even after I thought about, you know, some of the things I'm going to share with you today. I thought about them in the Monetize Summit last year, right? I thought about them in the Monetize Summit last year. Um, I only scratched the surface at the Monetize Summit. I only scratched the surface. Um, what I want to share with you now is a lot more, a whole lot more than I shared before, okay? So make sure that you, you are paying absolute 100% attention. Make sure that you have your notes and your pen's ready. I may go very fast in some places, but when I was preparing my slide, I realized, I mean, there are some things that there is no way I'll be able to dwell on them. I'll just have to breeze through them, but I'll find a way to make sure I make it up to you, okay? So I'm super excited to get started, and I'm gonna share my screen now so that you can see my face, okay? I'm gonna share my screen and uh, get started. All right. So here is my screen. I can still see your comments, don't worry, um, from my device, from my phone. I have my phone here. So I can see, I can see, uh, I can see your comments, okay? Cool, 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 cool. Let me just enlarge this a bit more. Ooh, okay. So how's this? Is this a lot better? Is this better for you? I think the screen is a lot better like this. Yeah. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Uchendu. Hi, Dina. Hi, Chewe. Good to have you here. So I think you can see, but if for some reason your screen is too tiny, in some certain parts where I'll actually be writing a lot of words, you can flip your phone so that it goes to landscape mode, OK? You can flip your phone so it goes to landscape mode so that you can see a lot more, OK? So just go to your settings. If, you, if you're using Android, you probably want to slide down all the way down and then change the uh, aspect ratio. If you're using an iPhone, you want to swipe up and allow your phone to be able to rotate so that you can actually turn it to the side like this and then you're able to see a lot more, okay? We have 227 people watching now. This is, this is dope, this is really, really awesome. I think maybe what I'll do is, I will see if I can just start go to present mode so it's a lot bigger even and then um, all right i am using a system i haven't done before enter full screen mode is this better is this better? <laughs> I mean, I've not used them. Um, okay. 
oh, I like this, oh, oh, nice. So this should be a lot better and you should be able to see my screen a lot better. Now, is this better for you? I think it's a lot bigger now, so you don't even have to flip your screen. Yes, it's a lot better. See me, I'm still testing things, imagine. Testing things like, uh, <laughs> somebody's asking on pressure, somebody's asking on my Instagram now, see why I, I, I give announcements and, you know, someone's asking on Instagram, how do I connect on, on, on my, on the post I did for this event with the flyer, somebody's asking there in the comment section, how do I connect? If somebody can, um, Precious can help to answer and tell them to click the link in my bio to join the Facebook group and then hopefully they can be added, all right? Yes, thank you. So I'm using Canva, I did my slides on Canva. So lesson number one, Canva can do a whole lot for you. Canva can do a whole lot. People think that Canva is just for graphics. I was teaching a webinar just this evening, about three hours ago, and I was sharing with the people, I was teaching on um, online business ideas that you can build for a Christian um, uh, gathering, I think. Some of some of you were, that were in that webinar, you're here because I, I invited you to this as well. And I was teaching, I was telling them that, oh, with Canva, you can do many of these things. I'm teaching my books that I put on Amazon. I designed them on Canva, notebooks. I designed them on Canva, workbooks, presentation slides. I do all this, this online course templates and stuff. I do all of them on Canva. People were very shocked. They're like, I, I, they thought Canva was only for, um, for graphics, you know? They think Canva is only for graphics, but it's not. Canva, can, you can do a whole lot. And, Canva is beginning to acquire um, other smaller brands and expanding the functionality. So imagine with Canva, I don't even need to even, uh, when I design my uh, book cover with Canva using their graphics, I don't need to now export and start looking for a 3D mock-up service to do that for me. No, um, Canva has acquired what is called smart mockups. I used to use smart mockups to do my 3D designs for my books and stuff like that. But Canva has acquired them so that their software and their services are now inside of Canva. So I can actually do 3D um, printings on Canva. I can design t-shirts, I can design, design uh, mugs, I can design my books, everything on Canva. And it's a whole lot more. Canva now has 3D and 2D designs for your design. And I'm gonna show you how I did them, okay? All right, so, 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 let's begin how to build a global business from low content products. So before we begin, a few housekeeping rules, a few housekeeping rules, okay? Um, thankfully, it looks like um, my captions are being automatically generated. So if people have hearing challenges, they should be able to, um, they should be able to, here, at least read the captions. So that's a pretty cool thing from Facebook as well. I will try as much as possible to speak slowly and to speak clearly as possible, though it is possible that I will speak Pigeon English at some point because some of my slides contain something interesting, okay? So housekeeping rules. Number one, give me your 100% undivided attention. Okay, give me your 100% undivided attention. It's important that you do so. If you are distracted, you will miss a whole lot of things. You will find yourself starting to ask questions for things that have already been answered before. So in order to prevent that from happening, please give me your 100% undivided attention. Turn off all distractions. If you're somewhere where TV is blaring or you have kids, you know, try to make sure you put them to sleep or calm them down, um, go to a private area where you can actually concentrate, try as much as possible to not be cooking or doing other things or being distracted by TV or games or your environment. Go to someone that's very quiet and private so that you can actually pay 100% attention, okay? Then make sure you have your pen and your notes. Make sure you have your pen and your notes. Remember that there's no guarantee for a replay for this class. So, so make sure you have your pen and your notes so that you can write down as much as possible. Even though this is a free webinar, you know, those of you who know me, you know that my free content is, oh, in fact, it's better than a lot of people's paid stuff. You know that when I give you free stuff, you always know that you're coming here for absolute 100% value, much more than you could ever even pay for if I'd ask you to pay. So make sure that you're here, you're paying attention, you get your pen and your notes, there will not be a replay. The replay is going to be available for sale by tomorrow just clearing that one now, okay? So it's not going to be here forever. So make sure that you are here, you're live and you don't leave. 
then write down your questions for later because I'll be talking as fast as I can to make sure I go through my slides. I have 35 slides. So I want to make sure I go through all of them as quickly as possible so that I don't get distracted by questions along the way, especially for things that I may eventually answer that I haven't gotten to yet. So if you have any questions, write your questions down. There'll be plenty of time to answer your questions, okay? Then don't rush off. Don't rush off because my webinars are always valuable from the beginning to the end. They are always valuable from the beginning to the end, okay? Um, don't rush off. Another thing I would like to add that was not here as well is please take screenshots of, um, of me talking, take screenshots of the Facebook Live, take screenshots of the numbers as the numbers are going up, take screenshots, update them, post them on your Instagram stories, tag me on the Instagram stories as well so that I can also repost you. Please, let's make sure that this class trends on Instagram, okay? So please take screenshots of the class. If you can do short bit screen recordings, do screen recordings of certain parts that I'll be talking. It's free, don't worry. You are very free to take screenshots. Um, you're very free to record parts of, of, of it if you can, and then post it to your Instagram stories. Please tag me so that I can repost you on my Instagram as well. This is a cool class, and I think you should be proud to show that you actually attended. So please make sure you can, if you can, if you have other devices, you can take screenshots and then post them even as the class is going on. Or you can wait till immediately after the class is over to take screenshots, to post your screenshots to your Instagram stories, tag me on them so I can repost you, please. Thank you. That's the only payment I'm asking for you, okay? You're coming to this class, it's absolutely free. <laughs> You're not paying for this class. So please do me that huge, huge favor. I'll be very, 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 very grateful, okay? Thank you. So, moving on, let's get started. We want to first of all identify and see how many people are here, what kinds of people are here, okay? I can see that somebody's already posting screenshots, so that's pretty cool. Ty was posted screenshots, I think, or somebody else has posted. Somebody has posted some screenshots. I, I, can't, I can't tell. I think I just got a notification now, but I need to turn that off so that I don't get distracted. Now, I'll ask, if you are seeing my screen, is this you? Are you an author or a coach or a consultant or your digital product creator or your online business owner who is sick and tired of creating content with little or no engagement, leaving you feeling burnt out, frustrated, and with not a lot of money. All right, is that you? If you're here, <laughs> this is you, say me. You're, you're an author, or you're a coach, or you're a consultant, or you create digital products, or you're an online business owner, but you're tired because you create, you create content all the time. You're constantly putting out content. You're constantly writing what you believe is amazing, valuable content that you took the time to learn, to research, and to create. And after you finish writing that amazing piece of content, you know, and you want to get engagement, you get burnt out. You're frustrated. And not a lot of money. Many times when we are creating content, we are creating content because that content should eventually lead to sales. And if you're content on social media is not even getting engagement, then imagine how the sale is going to be. It's going to be somehow, right? Because you're spending all this time trying to sell something that you've spent even more time to create. You spent time, you've taken classes, you've done coaching, you've done all of these things, and you're trying to, you know, get to, oh, we have over 300 people now. Leaving you feeling good. We have over 300 people now. Should I take a screenshot? Yeah. So, that is it, all right? So imagine you have all of this, all of these things going on for you and nothing. So I, I see a lot of people saying me, 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 me too, me. Someone said me, oh, with plenty O's, right? Is that you looking like this lady, like, as in you looking at your phone like, what the, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? How can this possibly be happening, right? And people are like that. Or maybe this is you. You spend time writing amazing books and you dread having to write a new book every time you want to launch something new. There are a lot of authors here, you know, every time you want to make money from, from your work or from your content, you have to write new books all the time. You have to write new content all the time. And it is hard, hard work, right? It is hard, hard work. Every time you want to put out, launch something, you have to go and start writing. You have to go and start talking, 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 talk, talk, just because you want to make money, right? It's hard. Or you create workbooks and lead magnets and they are not fine. 
you see other people's lead magnets and it looks fine and you're like how do they even do it like how do they even create this kind of thing like yeah or you want to create printables you know about printables maybe you attended monetize summit maybe you've been hearing about can talk about these things in my facebook group and you know about printables and you want to create printables for your audience maybe you have like a fitness challenge you want to create really cool printables that pop that look nice that you can use every time to get your your audience engaged maybe you're, you're a fitness coach you're a health coach or your finance coach you want to create printable savings charts and depths Debt, uh, debt trackers and stuff like that to be able to help people cancel debts or investment trackers. But you don't know where to start. And you know, something you want to do, but you know that you can use Canva, but you really have no idea where to start. Is that you? Are you looking at this guy every time? Or maybe this is you. <laughs> I like this guy. Maybe this is you. You see people churning out workbooks at the speed of light and you're wondering, how did they used to do this thing? How did they used to do it? Right? How did they used to do it? And what's worse is you hear people making hundreds of, or thousands of dollars selling hundreds of low content products. And you're asking, you feel like asking them, where are they see this money? I don't know if Insta, uh, Facebook can help me talk <laughs> to caption that. Like when you post to see this money, you say you just made a couple hundred dollars, you just made a couple thousand dollars on this same Amazon that we know that people are not even making money from. You know, there are a lot of people who gather together and because they don't know how to make money on Amazon, they believe that because they can't, other people cannot do it as well. And you're like, ah, where are you posting this money? Those of you that are doing it. And you're wondering, right? <laughs> Someone said, no, maybe this. <laughs> I know, right? It's frustrating. It can be frustrating. You see people making all this money, and you're like, ah, this is the same Nigeria that all of us are inside again. You know, somebody's making money in these same things, and I'm not maybe able to make money. How? Like, where are you supposed to see this kind of money? How are you supposed to do it? Right? How many people are like that? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. How many people are like that? How many people are like that? Frustrated, <laughs> tired about this whole thing, right? It can be really frustrating and I can only imagine how you must feel. That is why I'm doing this for you. So you see, maybe, just maybe you're like me. You're like me that was like, ah, Omo, I am an also, yes. I have this large community of people, yes. I love creating. I really, really love creating. I love to always put out amazing stuff for my audience, but I am terrible at graphics. I am terrible at designing stuff. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. And in fact, the worst part is, even when I now try to even pay somebody to try to do something for me, and they ask me, what do you, okay, what, what are your ideas? I don't even know what to say or what to do. When it comes to graphics, I am horrible at graphics, right? And but you want to do these things, you know about these things, but whenever you try to create them on your own, it's not fine, right? Someone's asking who cuts soap for them. I don't know. Let's learn. Maybe I will help you and cut more soap from the soap that I have today, okay? So <laughs> let's be learning and you, you come and share from my soap, okay? So 341 people now want to come and share from the soap. Let us share, all right? So let's move on. First of all, who am I? My name is Edirin. And they were. I'm Nigerian, obviously, and I'm 30 years old. And I recently moved to Dubai. Long story. In fact, the story was that this, the short form of the story is I almost, almost died in Nigeria thanks to the Nigerian healthcare system in July of last year during the, in the middle of the lockdown, the middle of the pandemic. And you know, I went to the hospital, had to do over 60 different tests to find out what was wrong with me. Yes, I had underlying illnesses, but it started to show that. Probably that wasn't the only thing because I literally passed out in the middle of a shopping mall, you know, in July. July 2nd, I will never forget. It's never happened to me before. The worst part was that I collapsed. I was out for like 20, 10 minutes, about 10 minutes. Nobody came to my rescue. Nobody touched me because it was the middle of a pandemic. Everyone thought that it was probably COVID. Who's taking screenshots? Somebody take screenshots. So we're about 347 now. Zubi. Zubi says we're 347. So someone take screenshots. Make sure that you post it on Instagram stories and tag me, okay? All right. So my story, my very interesting story. July 2nd, I had taught, I was overwhelmed. I had taught classes. I had finished a coaching program. 
um, one of my coaches had called me to ask me if everything was okay. I started feeling really tired. I was like, okay, maybe it's because I haven't eaten that much. I haven't eaten afternoon food. I'm probably stressed. Let me go get food. So I went out to the um, supermarket that was kind of close to my house. And, you know, I was we were all wearing masks because it was the middle of lockdown that time. They had allowed people to start going out. But... <laughs> we still have to wear masks and maintain social distancing and you cannot enter into the, the supermarket if you're not wearing your mask. So I put on my mask, I was there, I was waiting for my food to get ready and I just suddenly felt like I couldn't breathe and I needed to take my mask off. So the, between when I said, let me take my mask off and when I opened my eyes, I had gone. So as I just thought about, oh, I can't breathe, let me take my mask off. I, I didn't even take it off because when I opened my eyes, my mask was still on my face and it was the most embarrassing moment of my life. It was the most embarrassing moment of my life because I could hear people saying, you sure say not be COVID. And I was just praying. I was like, God, please let nobody be filming me or taking any pictures because I don't want to end up in Insta blog, Niger. I do not want to end up in Insta blog. It will ruin me. God, please. And that was my prayer. But it was really, really embarrassing. You know, I had to now stand up, sit down on the ground and try to get myself together. Finally collected my food, called a friend to help me to take me home. We thought it was COVID. Uh, the doctor said it was definitely COVID. It ended up it was ended up finding I wasn't COVID. Then it was like it was going on, did all kinds of tests, blah, 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 blah. Very, very few people knew. Nakay, knows. knows. And I felt like a leper because I couldn't go near people because at that time we still didn't know what was going on. You know? And uh, and the funny thing is that I was I lived alone. I, I still do, but I lived alone. And nobody to help me. I was really, really sick. Nobody could help me. Nobody could help. Even people who wanted to help couldn't help because they were scared. Well, my mom had to now brave it. And it was again during lockdown. So there was no flights. My mom is in Wari, I'm in Lagos, you know, and then she has to come and she, she wants to come and help me and to ensure that somebody's with me as I'm getting taken care of. I couldn't go to the hospital. They refused to take me anyway. So uh, funny story, I'm, get, I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. But the funny thing was that within that period of time, I spent a lot of money having to do all the tests. I spent a lot of money having to do the treatments. I spent a lot of money having to charter a vehicle to bring my mom because I couldn't afford to have her in some bus during that period of time, let her not go and, you know, go and contract the COVID. So I had to get a private car to charter, to bring her straight from her house, straight to my house, and then take her back. It's a lot of money. Chartering a private vehicle from Lagos to be a um, worry is not cheap at all. And, but I was able to do it. And it was easy for me because by the grace of God, I could afford to. But it, get, it got me, you know, thinking within that period of time, the entire month of July, those of you on open, you know, the entire month of July was gone. August, it was very hard for me to, you know, come back after being off of my work for like a month plus. September, I came back with a bank and, you know, continued working again. But, but here's why I'm telling you this story. The month of July and the month of August, I was making money. I wasn't selling anything. I wasn't posting on social media. I wasn't doing anything else. I wasn't working on my business. I wasn't even posting, showing up on my Facebook group. Yet, I was making money. I was earning from passive income products, things I had created in the past that were available on the platform that continued to earn me income. I asked myself, if I had a job, or oh, I had some sort of business that I had to shut down and I did not have any published assets that was earning me money, right? What would I have done? I would have been, first of all, I would have been flat out broke and then I would have been in a rush to go back to work and I wouldn't have been able to survive that, only God knows, right? What would have happened? But I was able to take a break for like two whole months to get myself back and I was still earning. I could afford to take a break for two months and even up to the middle of September, I think the very first active work that I actually did was Monetize Summit and I was back and I was back in the bank. And that was why I chose the particular topic for Monetize Summit because it really, really resonates with, resonated with me and I'm choosing it for this again because 
The same thing happened to me two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I felt very, very ill as well. I, mean, I got scared. I was like, maybe it's COVID, so I had to quarantine by myself at home. But within that period of time, I was earning. In fact, by the beginning of the month, I had already earned almost my entire, uh, uh, my entire income goal for the month from passive income products, right? So, <laughs> guys, if you don't, if you're in business and you don't have assets, published assets that are earning you money, even when you're not working. It will be difficult for you to keep up your lifestyle, to keep up your expenses when anything happens. God forbid anything happens to you. Imagine something like this that I just shared with you now happens to you. What will you be able to do if you have to be out of a job for two months, for one month, for three months? Would you be able to survive it? Will your expenses be able to survive, survive it? Would you have something that is bringing you income? This is why you need to pay attention to this we uh, webinar because what I'm going to be sharing with you would really, really help you and could literally save your life like it did for me, all right? So I know I've been laughing since, but this is like the serious part. It saved my life. Passive income products, that I'm, like the things I'm gonna teach with you, teach you today, saved my life, okay? They saved my life. I'm, I'm hoping that you don't get to be in a situation like mine, but it could save your life or somebody else's life, okay? So, I moved around away to Dubai when I, you know, got frustrated with Nigerian uh, Nigerian system. Again, I could afford to basically make a move, make a decision within one week, and actually get up and move. I came here. I didn't plan that I was really going to live here, but I came. I loved it, and I stayed. Again, I can afford to because I have something that pays me on a regular. I don't have to constantly do lunches because I have businesses that are running, you know, that continue to pay me and continue to bring in passive income. All right. So I've moved, I've, I've moved in, the, in, in November and I've been here since then, okay? And the cost of living here is, is pretty high. It is pretty, pretty high because this is literally a place people come here to vacation. So imagine actually living here, okay? Um, I can afford to because of the businesses that I'm able to do. And I don't have to have a job. I don't have to have a business that takes me out of my house. I basically work from my house, all right? And it's pretty cool. Now, I'm obsessed with tea. I love tea. If I splurge on anything, is tea. Um, I'm also a multiple Amazon best-selling author. I have about six books now that are published. So those are books, and they continue to earn money for me every single month. So because my books are on Amazon, they basically are in dollars. And even though they're not a lot, because of the number of sales that I get, it actually compounds. All right? So imagine writing a book or writing a couple of books one time only, and you put it on a platform, and every year it makes you an extra several hundred dollars. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, imagine that you now actually 100x or even just 10x the number of products that you have on Amazon, and imagine what that can do for your bank account, all right? So I'm able to run multiple businesses as well, and these businesses don't require so much of my energy because I'm not necessarily actively coming to teach. The only time I actually actively come and teach anything is only when I'm teaching for opens, openers or when I'm doing um, speaking engagements or coming to you know, do webinars or summits like that. The other businesses that I run don't require me having to show up physically for any one of them, right? So I have multiple businesses that I run and guess what? I'm going to tell you something um, um, pretty, pretty cool. I have multiple passive income assets including low content assets. So the things I'm going to teach you today are things I have created myself and things that I sell by myself in my different businesses. And I'm terrible at graphics, even though I try. I try my best because I know that with practice, I will eventually get better, all right? So um, I'm terrible at graphics, but I try anyway. If you have any questions, please write them down and ask your questions again at the end of this session and I'll answer all your questions, okay? Now, guess what? Just so that I can show that this thing I'm about to teach you actually works, even though you're in Nigeria, and if you even if you want to use a Nigerian account and you don't have the ability to, or you don't even want to have a global business, you just want to be able to build a business from Nigeria and actually try to sell it from here, you can do it. I started a brand new business yesterday. Brand new business, chose the name yesterday, chose the niche yesterday, started creating products. I, I, I literally imported some products from my other businesses that are running and imported them to this new business. And I started this brand new business yesterday, all right? The business name or the brand name is literally called Keith and Stone. Don't worry, maybe later I'll explain to you. 
what that basically means, all right? So the name of my new brand, my name, new business that I'm actually opening to, to Nigerians actually is called Keith and Stone. Keith and Stone is a um, digital creation company where I basically create printables and templates for, for business owners who want to be able to create eBooks, create workbooks, create lead magnets, uh, create print printables and so on and so forth, all right? So <laughs> I basically created that yesterday brand new it's called keith and stone again you know we say we are building global businesses so i would have loved to do a dairy and sons or a dairy and daughters right but it's the brand name itself is deliberate it's very deliberate i don't know anybody called keith i don't know anybody called stone but two of them together sound really nice isn't it when you hear that name keith and stone doesn't that sound pretty cool Sounds like an Oibo brand, right? And the inspiration for the name came when I was um, I was at the mall recently. I was at the Dubai Mall, and I was going through, and a friend of mine was with me, and the friend was telling me that, see all these names that are calling all these uh, so, so, so and so names. He said, many of them are Arabs, but they would not use English names so that they can have a very global appeal. I was like, yeah. Hey. So we started um, doing research to find out, we're going down the mall, and I started doing my research and looking at all the names and doing my research to find out these businesses, who owned them? Who owned these businesses? And <laughs> found out that the majority of them are those names, you know, that you see top names like that, that you see others like, you know, Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins, too, is, is actually an American brand. But all those names like that, you know, those Ted Baker, uh, Baskin Robbins, so those kind of brands like that. Some of them are not, they are not American, neither are they English. They are probably Arabs or Indians or Asians that use these names so that they can have a global appeal. And when you see the names, ah, um, this name is Hello Mirren. Ah, ah, it looks like one Tush brand, like a Gucci or Hermes or one of those things. It looks like a very Tush brand, like a Zara. Let me go inside. And when they give you bill, be very happy. It's a very posh name. So this is your lesson number two. Right when you're building your brand, especially you're building a brand for global appeal. Yes, I know you love your name. I know you love your Akboruru and brothers. It's very very nice. But Keith and Stone is the name. Someone says Keith and Stone sounds like a partnership. Exactly. So it's not like it's no longer sounding like a one-man business. It's sounding like a what? A partnership, a co-founder business. Isn't it pretty cool? It's pretty cool. Anyway, the brand is on Instagram. So if you Google, if you go on Instagram and type Keith and Stone together, you actually find it there, all right? So I just want to show you again that this brand is not even on major international platforms. It's not on Amazon. It's not on Etsy. It's not on Shopify. It's not on uh, Redbubble. It's not on Teespring. It's not on Gumroad. It's on Seller, our very own Seller. The same Seller that you will create just to sell one book. It's the same Seller that I've created to build an entire brand off of. So the only two things that I've used now, or three things that, that, that I've used for this particular business, number one, Canva, number two, Seller, and then number three, Instagram. Those are the only three, three tools that I'm using for this business, all right? So I wanna show you that I'm not just sharing something with you that it is just saying because she, probably saw it somewhere. No, this is stuff that I know you can do because I have done it myself. And guess what? These are some of the templates that I'm uploading. I think I've done three of them and I'm going to be uploading more maybe by tomorrow. I'm tired this night, it's already late. I'll upload the rest by tomorrow, all right? The first one you're seeing there, this one, this one is a printable. This is what you call a printable. It's just one sheet, although I made it, I duplicated it seven times. So it has seven sheets. Daily plans, people can print them out and you can even, you know, either write on them individually or print as many copies as you want, staple them or spray, bind them together, and use this as your daily planner. It's a printable because it's a PDF document that you get to download and print. This one is just basically the front page of a notebook, all right? So if you follow me on Instagram, you must have seen my Instagram reel yesterday where I posted a particular video and showed you how I created a 100 page notebook in under three minutes. Uh, I'm going to replicate the process in this class. So you just watch and wait, okay? This is the front page and this is the rest of the page. All right, I'm going to show you exactly why this will blow your mind. Because this thing that you see in this page, this page and a cover page is basically making people money, mad money on Amazon. 
And then this one here, the last one here is my perfect book designer. This is a template. It's in MS Word form, MS Word document, MS Word format. And this MS Word form, once you buy it and you download it, you can basically just open it in your MS Word and then just fill in the pages. So if you don't know how to do copyright, you don't know how to do table of contents, you don't know how to put acknowledgement, you don't know the order in which a book should be, you don't know how to arrange your book or format it, this particular template here has... Um, a place where you can put your upsell, a place where you can put your auto details, a place where you can put a synopsis of your book and every other thing, including how you can even do your mind map as well. It includes a page for mind map. So it's a huge ass template. Sorry for my English, but it's a template, right? So some of you already got some the um, personal book designer. It's actually on my own main website. Okay. I just wanted people to be able to test it. So I did it there. Guess what? This template, this cover you're seeing for my perfect book designer, I got it on Canva. I got it on Canva. I did not design it myself. I only just added my perfect book to the name there and the blurb. Finish. It's on Canva. I did not have to be a massive Canva designer for, to be able to do this. But it's fine. Is it not fine? It's fine. Okay? Very fine. So, this is my, if you, you can even go to the, the link there, seller.co slash m slash case and stone and check out the store, right? If those of you who are in Texas, some people are watching from Texas, some people from, from Cyprus, some people from Atlanta, somebody else from Dubai. Um, Brenda is watching from Dubai. Brenda, if you go on this same website and you go to my um, shop on seller, the prices for the products you will see there will be in dirhams. The prices you will see there would be in dirhams. Nigerians, when you go on that website, the prices you will see there would be in nairas. Americans, those of you who are in America, when you go there, the prices you see will be in dollars. The people, person who is in Cyprus, I don't know the currency for Cyprus. I'm, I'm assuming it's euros, right? If you go, if you're in Cyprus, based on your location, seller would automatically convert the currency to the currency of the people who you want to see who are who are actually checking you out right and seller has the ability to actually receive funds with stripe with flutterwave and with paypal so which means that with a simple seller store you're able to actually reach the entire world with your products and anybody can buy so this actually uh, diverts it cuts it cuts away the problem of oh people in the us cannot pay me people so so, so cannot pay me people cannot pay me for my service thanks to seller anybody can pay you for your services so these are some of the principles that I have, I have to offer okay so why am i going to talk about low content products now um you can use the same uh, canva to do ebooks as well ebooks are not low content products they are high content because you spend a lot of time to create them you spend a lot of time researching you spend days, weeks, maybe even months to be able to create one of them. But these low content products are products that you can create within minutes or at the most within one or two hours, okay? Low content products are products that you can create for sale within minutes, sometimes even within in less than five minutes. And then others that you can create maybe within 30, 30 minutes to one hour and you can create them. I think the, the highest amount of time and the kind of products you can create for a much longer time when you're creating low content products are workbooks and templates. If you're doing like proper workbook templates, lead magnet templates, and um, ebook templates, and you're starting from scratch, it will take you time to create. But those templates are worth a lot more money because of the time it takes you to be able to create them from scratch, okay? So low content products allow you to create passive income assets. So imagine that you could create a low content product within five minutes. So you could create one notebook, for example, within five minutes, which means that in 60 minutes, you can create 12. Let's even assume that you even take a pee break or you just rested. You can do 10 in one hour. If it takes you only five minutes to create a 100 page notebooks, it should take you at the most or at the least 60, uh, 60 minutes to create 10. So imagine that you only create one hour a day you're able to create 10 a day. In 10 days, you have 100 notebooks that you can actually upload on Amazon and sell. Let's imagine that you now take uh, two days to be able to upload all 10. You upload five a day, or you take uh, the 20 days at the most to upload all of them. 
let's say you're even lazy and you, or you have other things to do or you don't have as much time and you just take a whole month in one month you can actually create and publish 100 different notebooks that will make money from you now some people may say ah notebooks who sell who, who buys notebooks on amazon really don't worry that's what I'm teaching you this webinar. We are 394. We're nearly at 400 people. Who's taking screenshots for me? Who's taking screenshots? Right? They are easy to create as well. They are very, very easy to create. As long as you know how to use Canva, it is very easy for you to create. Little to no graphic skills needed. You really don't need to have game, game magical graphic skills because you're not creating graphic content. You are creating low content products. Most of them don't need graphics. All right? And guess what? It sells like hotcakes if you know what you're doing. Low content products, if you're going to make the mainstay of your business and really focus on it, you can make a lot of money, hundreds to thousands of dollars every single month, no cap. I'm not joking at all, okay? Thank you very much, Tony, for taking screenshots. You can earn a lot from all around the world. So even if you don't want to even publish uh, print-on-demand products, you want to only do printables and templates, you can use your seller account. And with Seller, you can actually sell all over the world. All right, Seller is a world-class platform. So people from all over the world can actually buy your printables on Seller, okay? Then there is little to no upfront capital. When I say little, I mean, okay, maybe you want to upgrade your Canva to Canva Pro so you can have extra things. Canva Pro, I think, is $14.99 or so, $14.99, about that per, per month, $15 per month. How much is that? It's not a lot of money. It's not up to 10K per month. If you know what you're doing and you're making a lot of money, it co it's more than covers for, for that, okay? So um, you can earn from all over the world. You need little to no upfront capital. You don't need money to set up a, a, a seller account. You don't need money to set up an Instagram account. You don't need money to start using Canva. Those are the three things you even basically need, okay? You don't need inventory and fulfillment, which means that even if you want to sell notebooks, you don't need to start printing the notebooks yourself, keeping them in your house, and then when somebody orders, you go and deliver them. No. With Amazon's print on demand, all you need to do is upload the PDF file and the cover page, and then when somebody orders the book, Amazon will print it and deliver it to them. That's how print on demand works. That is what print on demand basically means, all right? So you don't need to start having books in your house or start printing papers in your house to keep so that you can sell it. No, your job is just to create the digital products, the digital files, upload it, and then the customers take care of the other things, okay? Now, you can have multiple brands in multiple niches, all right? So like I said before, I have different businesses. I have different brands that sell different things in different niches, and many people don't know. So the great thing about low-content products is that you can have it as a side hustle and have up to 10 different stores selling 10 different things in 10 different niches, and nobody knows, and it doesn't affect your personal brand. Maybe you're already building a brand as a coach or as an author, and you're already worried, ah, if I'm building my brand in this, I want to be known for this thing. What about all these other things that I'm doing? I want to earn money as well from low-content products. Will it affect my personal brand? The answer is no, because you can quietly build that business, quietly. Quietly, quietly, without your general audience even knowing, like I've done. I've only shared with you today, Keith and Stone, but you don't know the other brands that I have, the other businesses that I've had since for years that have been making me money and my products are actually on platforms like Amazon and Etsy already, all right? We've crossed 400 viewers who's taking screenshots, okay? So you can have multiple brands in multiple niches, multiple brands in multiple niches, and you can handle all of them. Again, you don't require so much work having to keep up with all of the whole things, okay? So that's why low content products are really, really cool. Now I want to show you some examples of low content products from Amazon. These are screenshots that I took from Amazon. I just typed notebooks on Amazon. Now I want to show you something. So that you don't say, ah, these books are people that, you know, created books, hard copy books, and put them on. Whenever you see paper back like this, just know it's the book with paper and the back. There's paper on the book, all right? The, the cover of the book is made of paper. So it's print on demand. Most of these books are basically Amazon's print on demand, okay? Amazon's print on demand. What that basically means is that somebody created this cover on Canva, created the interior on Canva, uploaded it onto Amazon like that, and... 
Amazon puts it out there. And when somebody purchases it, guess what? They get they get the book printed and then they deliver it to whoever purchased the book. Okay. So I want you to see this paperback, right? Paperback, paperback, paperback. All these four notebooks that you're seeing here were all designed on either Canva or another software like InDesign. All right. So there's another software in design, but Canva is more ubiquitous, it's more popular. In design is actually a, it's, it's, it's a paid um, software. You actually have to pay from the beginning and it's a bit more expensive than Canva. Even though it's fantastic, it does a fantastic job. It's actually really good. But for in design, you have to have certain knowledge. The learning curve for in design is a lot steeper than Canva. It is not as easy to navigate as Canva. So that's why I keep pushing Canva, 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 especially for me, because I don't, I'm not a graphic tech or tech graphic person like that. So these books were either created on Amazon, on, on Canva or InDesign. Please, there is nobody here who cannot do black triangle and put the words notebook on it as cre and create as a cover. There's nobody here who cannot find this graphic on Canva, this graphic template on Canva put black notebook in the middle, put the interior and sell it. There's nobody here. There is nobody listening to me right now who cannot do these things. Nobody whatsoever. So you can see this person is selling his own for $4.99. And you may say, ah, it's small. It's not small. Though. Guess what? This person has sold at least 284 times. These are the only the number of reviews alone. You know, it's not everybody that buys that leaves review. It's not everybody that buys that leaves review. These are the people who actually bothered to even leave a review, 284. So this person has sold this particular book 284 times at least, at least. This person, now this one, this is the one that annoyed me the most. Just, it's just plain black, plain black with notebook. So let me choose so you can see that this one is online, which means <laughs> this one that annoyed me the most, right? This one self, this first one, College Road is ruled, which means the person actually went to Canvas, went to go and draw a line and then copy the line and then copy the pages 110 times. This one did not even do anything. This one just went to Canva, opened a blank page, copied the page 100 times, saves blank pages as PDF. Probably just numbered it so that because Amazon will probably check if you have empty pages, but they will probably have numbered it so that at least there's something written in the book. They numbered it because you see that it says notebook online notebook, which means it's basically a blank, which I wish I have something sort of like a, I don't have an online notebook, but imagine a notebook that is just plain, all those your jotter that is plain, that did not root nothing. Now, see how many sales, see how many sales. 885 at least at least 885 people gave reviews and the reviews are, are 4.5 stars so which means people gave reviews of between four stars and five stars the most and it's aggravating right see this one again it says a uh, journal notebook to write in for everybody 159 pages large a4 Premium, soft, matte, green, blah, 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 blah. Just explaining what the cover is. This one is $5.50. This particular one, this person just got cats, pussy cats, different, different types, and just stacked them on top of each other, turned it to cover, wrote notebook in the middle. Cute, colored, colorful cats, college ruled, lined notebooks. Lined book. See how much? $5.99. How many people bought 368? So if anybody is telling you that notebooks don't sell on Amazon, this take the screenshots so that you can go and show them. Take the screenshots and show them that notebooks actually sell. And these are completely different people. These are four different people. This is Dominic Notebooks. This is Lila Notebooks. This is Damian Writing. And this is Two Hoots. You know what I think? I think Damian's Writing, Lila Notebooks, and Dominic Notebooks are the exact same person. You know why I think so? Look at the fonts for the notebooks. Look at the font, they're almost the same. I have a very strong feeling that this is one person that has these different brands. One person has these different brands. Dominic Notebooks, 
Lila Notebooks, um, Damien's writing. It's probably one person. I don't know about this one, but these three like this, so it looks like the same person. All right? So the person has different brands, and then see how much this person has sold from notebook, my people. All right? See another set of notebook again. This one, <laughs> cute pink purple sunset blank lined journal, Nicole Designs, $5.99. Um, no, notebook, college road. They just put flower, put notebook. Another, this, see this one again, another black. This one is by Brahim Beroma. 317 sales at least. It's just black with notebook in the middle. So this is another one. And look, let me not even shout too much. Look at the top. It's bestseller. This particular notebook right now is a bestseller on Amazon. 317 sales at least minimum it's a it's a bestseller right and you're here sitting down with your canva plain canva using it to do social media quotes social media code is not earning you any money at all someone say who are they money no it's black imagine going to the bookstore and seeing a very nice black notebook that just says notebook at the middle i actually bought one from there's a shop in dubai here called typo where i buy my stationery from i bought a bunch of black jotters, jotters and journals. One side is flowery, the other side is black. I just bought it because of the black side. It looked really cute. Naga said something and that's really true. He said all the college kids looking for cool stuff. Exactly. I want cool stuff. It looks cute. The pink one now and this purple one looks cute. You know, people in college and they're going to college, university students, these are the kind of notebooks that they buy. If they're going to be taking notes from a boring class, the notes have at least better be fine. All right? So that's it. Now, those are notebooks, notebooks. These ones are journals. So there's a bit more in the journal. So there's prompts, there's things like, okay, to write today's date, what are you grateful for? You know, this kind of thing. Now, <laughs> now let me show you something. I was doing my research and I was just like, a lot of foul language journals are making a lot of money and a lot of sales. A lot of foul language journals, see this one, Zen as F, there's the F word in it. A journal for practicing mindful, the mindful art of not giving a shit. And it's by Monica Sweeney. This Monica Sweeney person found a wonderful niche of potty mouth language. Potty mouth language. And she's selling seriously. So <laughs> let me show you how journals even make a lot more money. So this journal is a guided journal. A journal for practicing the mindful art of not giving a shit. Guess how many she has So This is the reviews that she has gotten. 19,600 plus reviews. 19,000. You cannot really review on Amazon unless you have bought a book. So these are verified buyers, verified sales of, paper, of a paperback book. She just made it on either Canva or InDesign. Same graphics that your graph, you, the so-called graphic designers are, are, are struggling with. Right? See? She's anti potty mouth. 19,000 plus sales. If you want to know how many people have bought sometimes, you want to look at the sales. This is a journal. This is another one that says, Wreck this journal now in color. I didn't wreck this. I said, The revolution now in color. It just looks like a sort of collage that the person just did with some rusty colors and has sold over nearly 13,000 copies. Then Monica Sweeney again, my, my, I love this girl. Monica Sweeney, in fact, she's even doing sales. And <laughs> the, the journal is a bestseller because she's doing sales. So she's now selling it for $8.99. The name of this one is Let That Shit Go. Let That Shit Go, a journal for leaving your bullshit behind and creating a happy life, in brackets, Zen as F journal. So you can see it's the same person. So she has a series of the Zen as F journals. And those Zen as F journals are making money. She's using party mouth language, but she's making money. See how many thousands of sales? So multiply 18,000 by $8.99. So 18,000 by nine approximately. Let's even divide it by two. Let's say because of shipping and royalties, divide it by two. Let's say $18, or let's say 18,000 divided by, or multiplied by 4,000, four, $4.50. Let's even say that what's bad, bad as bad, she only makes $2. 
two dollars times eighteen thousand sales at least how much is that that's thirty six thousand dollars thirty six thousand dollars at least in pure profits for creating something that did not take five minutes maybe at the most one hour to create and it's there and it's there for life and as long as it's there to continue to make money right those are journals this is another one again year of zen people like zen right year of zen 52 week guided journal it's a simple guided journal it's guided journal basically means that when they open the page there's something that they tell them to do write what you're grateful for today that's basically what is it write what you're grateful for today what did you learn from today um tomorrow what are you going to do what are you grateful for that's basically what a guided journal is right 940 this one always remember you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem smarter than you think inspirational journal it's just full of inspirational quotes it's 2000 sales find your effing happy part of my language a journal to help pave the way for positive shit has head monica again has come back <laughs> monica has come back again with with her potty language right so you see if you're not paying attention, you won't see. Now, that's Amazon. That's for printed um, low-content products. That's for notebooks and journals. You can also do planners there and diaries. I'll go to the type of products later. So I went to Etsy. I said, okay, let's find Etsy. Etsy and Shopify, they're quite similar as, uh, for the kind of products they create. So on Etsy, you have your arts and craft. So people think that Etsy is only for art and craft. You think that Etsy is only for... Um, Arts, crafts, buying of uh, stamps, papers, uh, toys, uh, roller bottles for for essential oils, um, stickers, and, and you know those kind of cute cute things. <laughs> you don't want to say Mala be like Monica. <laughs> Monica is cashing out there, and that's just the few of her products that I could see. Imagine that Monica has a hundred or so of that, or two hundred of that. I have two friends who are into this business as well that I learned from um, a couple years ago. They have hundreds and hundreds and like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of notebooks and journals. Hundreds and hundreds. So, but sometimes I'll be angry because the exact same thing that is inside, they just change the cover. That's all. And they've done a hundred of it. All right? So this is Etsy. Etsy is like Shopify. They say print. You can sell printables. So you this, this see this one, someone is selling social media planner kits. The, own, the person that owns this shop is uh, Grow Your Influence. Now look at this. Five stars. Look at the number of sales. 7,646 sales from, this, from her store. 7,646 sales. Yes, it's selling for one dollar forty-five. This is because she's doing um, a sale right now, right? I checked for sales. She's doing sales right now. Normally, the price is uh, four dollars and eighty-five cents, right? Now, she's selling digital social media planner. Now, she just did all these designs. You can see them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, or so. Fourteen or fifteen or so. Twenty-four pages is what's there. It's PDF, multiple sizes. PDF. So she just did the she did the design on Canva. She sized it to like six by nine. Then she saved it, saved the document as PDF. Then she sized the same document. She didn't have to redesign it again. She just resized. There's a button you click on Canva that says resize. She just clicked to resize, resized it to eight by eight by eleven, which is A4 size. Saved it, resized again, back down to five by eight. That's all she did. Now she's selling it at a sale of 145. Um, Etsy will collect a very tiny percentage, it's very, very small. But she's made over 7,600 sales from her shop alone, from selling digital products, printables. This one, she's not, <laughs> people are not even getting physical products. They are buying the PDF that they will now use their own printer and ink to print. And she's making money out of it, right? This is another person. Uh, called the content shop that's her shop this person's niche is in um quotes instagram quotes and this person is selling health fitness and wellness quotes so this person basically goes and then writes quotes on a particular niche do you know you could do that all those quotes that you've been suffering to come up with and post to your instagram do you know that you could be selling it do you know that you could be selling it? All those quotes that you post on Instagram, your quotable quotes that you post on Instagram, 
and you post on Facebook and people are hailing you saying deep. The deep is not putting money in your pocket. Are you gathering them together and posting them? You don't want to do copyright because if you take somebody's code that is already that already belongs to somebody, you, your page can get shut down. So you want to be absolutely careful. But since this person is selling quotes, quotes, the person just do quotes, type it on Canva. In fact, maybe it's not even Canva they use. Maybe they use word swag. This thing looks like it's word swag. But maybe it's Canva. They just type only this, this Canva, all those geographies that you're creating for free. The person created 70. 70 of those quotes in a particular niche and selling it <laughs> for seven dollars 70 photos for instagram social media 70 only 70 for instagram social media this person has made 371 sales selling quotes selling quotes imagine 371 times seven dollars selling quotes just sit down and you can do 100 quotes in a day. You upload them as a bundle onto your Etsy shop, for example, or onto your seller shop. People who are lazy to come up with quotes for their social media pages. Somebody who is into health and fitness, for example. Those of you who are here who are fitness coaches, you have quotes, cool quotes. Gather your quotes together, design them on, on, on uh, Canva, package them and put them on your, your seller shop. Or put them on your Etsy store if you can get on Etsy and sell it. Make money from your content, especially low content products, right? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> this is somebody making money from things that you used to go and repost on your Instagram stories, people. All right? I have seen, Onono says I'm here. Onono is a fitness coach. Guys, you can go and check out. She's my, she's, my, she's my G from a very, very long time. Right, on and I were like classmates from 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 uni for uni Ben and neighbors as well. So go a long way back, and she's awesome at what she does. She's really really awesome as well. Like if you want somebody to whip you into shape, Ono is the person to go to. She's fantastic as well. Ono Ono is amazing. She's a coach, and she also does um she, she speaks and she does amazing value as well. Go check her out. So Ono like for example now Ono can if Ono is saying oh I don't have time to be able to put out quotes for my social media page. I can come here and buy this person's quotes and just copy it and just paste it like that. And people will be wow, like wow. Man, see content. Honor's content is on P. They don't know that Honor went to Etsy to go and buy, <laughs> buy people's quotes. <laughs> buy people's quotes. But imagine Honor is now doing the same. Honor is now the one posting, uh, taking her fitness quotes and then creating them on, re redesigning them on Canva and then selling them to fellow fitness coaches who don't have time. And then they buy it. A lot of people who buy these things as well are social media managers who don't have time to create content. So they would rather pay $7 to be able to create, to buy content for somebody else's page that they're managing and then collect $200 in payment. That's arbitrage, people. So if you're a social media manager, you can come to sites like this to buy fresh content that you can be posting for your pages that you're managing and you're getting paid for it as well, right? So this is another page again. This one is Instagram quote pack for boss, babe, female entrepreneur business. So all those female entrepreneur posts that you see that you, to be busting your head, many of them is from Etsy, they come. You just find out that all of them just look alike. They look the same. Different, different entrepreneur pages are posting the exact same thing. They've all come to buy the same pack. You can come and check it here, all right? They've all come to buy the same pack. Now, I just typed daily planner printable. So it's not, it does not look like it's just quotes. So there are lots of planners. And I sell, like the planners that I sell on my own store as well. Unlimited access, 500 happy planner printable templates. This is for people who use happy planners. 30 minutes daily planner. Uh, they, what they just did, they just divided the day, the, 20, the 24 hours. They divided it into 48, 30 minutes slots. Put today in the corner. Put notes in one corner. Color it small. Change the color seven times and say that they are coming to sell it. <laughs> when I discovered this thing, I was just laughing. So we just put calendar. Calendar that you can get on Canva. There are calendar templates on Canva. You can get calendar templates on Canva. Just design it small. Put one flower in the corner like this on the top edge. And your mind, in, you have designed. And you put it there. Somebody is selling these two things for $2. And people are buying. 
right? So this one has like 539 uh, um, five-star five reviews. Plan your time perfectly. Three planning favorites. The printable day, week, and month bundle. That's all. They just have calendar, calendar, calendar. And the <laughs> calendar, they're making money. It's now the pack, $19.99. So the more you have in your pack, the higher you can charge on Etsy. Same thing with Shopify as well. So this one, seven-day plan, uh, planner, daily planner, daily work planner, weekly planner, 365 daily planner. They just have a few pages. Daily planner, weekly planner, long, uh, monthly planner. That's all. They will label it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They boost date for you. You can, this thing, I designed this myself on Canva. I said, you know what? Let me go and copy it. So I copied it and I designed it on Canva exactly as it was. So I just looked at it. I went to Canva and replicated the entire process. And you can do that as well. You definitely can, all right? Oh, I posted this one twice. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you that it has 368 reviews. So at least 368 sales, five stars, $4.99, multiply it. Somebody just went to go and design something on, on Canva, right? So there are so many kinds of products you can create, so many. So there are, these are the major categories of low content products you could create. You can create notebooks, you can create workbooks, you can create diaries. You can basically just buy a physical diary, look at the pages, and then go and design those same pages on, on Canva. Put them together and then sell them on Amazon. So you can do notebooks, workbooks, diaries, journals, bullet journals. Go and Google what those things are. Instead of them having lines, it's, it's dot, dot, dot. That's what they call bullet journals, right? Templates, you can create templates as well. Templates for ebooks, templates for workbooks, templates for social media, trackers stickers for platforms like Etsy and Shopify, charts, digital planners. So apart from physical planners or printables, you can actually create digital planners as well, something I'm currently learning by myself. Uh, there's, a, there's an app called GoodNotes on the higher, um, um, on the higher app, uh, Apple iPads from, I think, iPad 4 and above, and the iPad Pros. They have an app called GoodNotes, where, and it has a pen where you can actually um, Instead of people actually printing their printables, you can actually design your printables for good notes so that people buy your printables and they just upload it onto their good notes app and then they can write on it. Then there are also multiple printables. So I told you that I have many, I have a whole list of journals. So there are prayer journals, gratitude journals, teens journals, grief journals, daily journals, affirmations journals, goals journals. Then there are planners. There's daily planner, monthly planner, yearly planner, travel planner, business planner. If you're somebody who's a coach, for example, like fitness coach, for example, you want to help other fitness coaches start their business, you can create a fitness coaching business planner. If you are a, a relationship coach, you can start a relationship coach business planner. Or if you're a life coach, you can do a life coach planner. I have bought a life coach planner before. It was really, really good. And it was a printable, right? You can do work planners financial planners, launch planners. I have done that before. My planners are my favorites because I love them so much. So like $1,000 in 30 days is a planner. My um, seven figure mastermind planner is a planner. I have a lot of planners as well. All right. Then printables. Oh, see, see my list. Printables, savings charts. These are like either one or two or maybe a few uh, uh, bundles of individual printable pages, to-do lists, daily planners, goal setting, monthly calendars, allergy trackers, recipes, passwords. But these are things I've researched and I've keep seeing so many. There are so many. I cannot go through. It's inexhaustible. Password tra trackers, event organizers, chore organizers. That's something that I love as well. I created a chore organizer for myself. I am forgetful. So I have a chore where I write down the things I need to do and then start doing them and ticking them. So having a nice chore organizer would really help to make my life easy. Closet organizers and, you know, a whole lot of things. Um, these are still more list of printables, all right? So do you know that you can actually design letters? You know those letters that people put on string to say happy birthday? Do you know that they sell them on 
print on teachable or teachable on Etsy. And what happens is that people will just buy your big letter A. So imagine you go on Canva, you go and look for one particular very lovely, beautiful font, maybe a cursive font. You will now <laughs> you will now take the font and write the letter A in one paper. Move to the next letter, put the letter B, the next letter, put the letter C, just make it very big. So that when people now buy the pack of fonts and print it, then they can now cut it out with the same shape. Do you know people do that and make money from that? As in, it's ridiculous the things people make money from. Quotes. You know those quotes you put on social media? Some people like to have those kind of quotes by their table side when they are working. So imagine that you just put, um, imagine one of my favorite quotes, I just put, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. I just go and design it on Canva, put it on Etsy, or put it on my seller shops, and say this is a, it's a quote for, it's for, your, for your photo frame, table side quote. Somebody buys it, prints it by their self, put it inside photo frame that I did not even sell to them. They bought it for $2. I just posted a quote on Canva, exported the JPG file or the PDF file, and decided to sell it. <laughs> there is no limit to what can be sold. What art oh, you can do? You can take a flower on Canva, one of those flowers inside their flower template, put a flower in one page, write one cute quote in the corner, download the PDF file, upload it onto either your Etsy shop, or your Shopify, or your seller shop, and say, cute wall art. Somebody will now buy it, download it, print it from their printer, put it inside frame, and they'll be happy. As long as they're happy, and they are paying you, right? So it's, imagine, I just say, okay, today I want to do man-made picture, man-made picture, or I want to do um, um, horoscopes. So I want to do big Aquarius sign in one page, big Gemini sign, big Leo sign, big Virgo sign, and just do it. Use cute things to design it. Put star, star, star around it so that it looks like it's celestial. And then I will not sell it, right? <laughs> People will buy. So again, it's not that, that because I now said, oh, go and do this and go and say, you're not going to start selling everything. No, there is a method to the madness, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So much, there's so many types of printables, coloring pages, party decorations. People buy printables for party decorations. Games, you can do games, like all those bachelorette night games. You can actually do games that you type on paper and then sell, and people will buy your games that they used to play for their hen, hen nights and bachelorette nights and stuff like that, all right? And you can even do custom-made stationery. You can do letterhead for people. You can decide that you want to, people can contact you to do their letterhead. You just do letterhead for them, put their address, Canva, all right? <laughs> so where do you sell low content products? So there are so many platforms that you could sell you can sell, you can create your own website using your WooCommerce store where you can sell your printables and templates as long as people can print the things by themselves and download it. You can sell those. So printables and templates. Seller is another one that I would really, really recommend because they are very flexible with um, currency and how much money, how, how you can receive your payments. All right. So seller, for example, you can sell print, uh, printables and templates like I do. Then if you want to actually sell books, notebooks, workbooks, planners, journals, and actual books, physical books themselves. You want to use platforms like Amazon, Amazon Print On Demand, like I showed you in the beginning with those notebooks, right? So those are things that have to be printed. So you want to use Amazon. You can't sell printables on Amazon. You can't sell templates on Amazon because they need to be downloaded. Amazon will let people download stuff, right? But if you want people to download stuff, seller, your website, Shopify, if you can get a Shopify account, you can get a Nigerian Shopify account, right? So if you, if you want to open a Shopify account, just go to Shopify Nigeria on Google, and then you open the Shopify Nigeria, you can actually sell, sell on Shopify. Etsy as well, if you have a PayPal account, you can actually um, sign up on Etsy. It's free to sign up. You can have multiple shops on Etsy as well, okay? So Etsy is there. Um, you can go to Etsy, Etsy as well for inspiration to see what is selling. 
Then there's a platform called Gumroad, G-U-M-R-O-A-D. You can sell printables and templates there as well. There's another platform called Ingram Spark. Say you don't want to go through Amazon, you want to get more options for the type of um, books you can sell, workbooks, planners, journals, especially like uh, planners with Sparaband Edge. You can use Ingram Spark. All right, so you have to Google how that works. It's free to set up an account, but it's, it's a lot more expensive. They do print on demand, but it's a lot more expensive than Amazon because they are not Amazon, right? It's a lot more expensive, but they have more variety. So if you don't want just paperback, you want to do other kind of print on demand, you can use Ingram Spark. There's also a platform called Lulu. Lulu, Lulu also does, Lulu also does um, print on demand. So POD, there means um, print on demand, okay? So you can do Lulu, you can use Printful, Printify. These are different platforms that you can actually use to sell your low content products. However, if you want to control your profits, if you really want to control your profits, either you use your website or you use Seller. Seller has very little transactional charges for when you're collecting your money. Seller will only collect transactional charges. They won't collect, um, I don't think they collect money. They don't collect royalties, all right? So they don't collect royalties from you. So whether you are um, Nigerian, you're Ghanaian, you're Kenyan, you're South African, you're listening to me right now, you can use Seller. You can sign up on Seller, okay? So um, I quickly want to talk about mistakes to avoid when selling, um, starting a low-content product business. So you've heard all these amazing things. You're excited. Your brain is on fire. You're writing. You're taking screenshots. Who is taking screenshots? Who are our screenshot people? Who is taking screenshots? Let me know. Okay, <laughs> take our screenshot, so let's post it now. So it's exciting, all of these things I shared with you. And you would think that, oh, why is Edirin now teaching us all these things? Why is she doing all these things when she can be focusing and making so much money? It's a lot when you're getting started. Nothing good comes easily, all right? Nothing good comes easily. And people make a lot of mistakes. So for every successful notebook you're seeing there, there are thousands of unsuccessful ones. For every successful notebook you see there are thousands of unsuccessful ones because people constantly make mistakes so again this is an introduction to low content product business it is not the be all and end all this is just to help you to guide you when you eventually start doing your research okay so a mistake you must avoid is not choosing a niche first so you don't want to have one shop and you're selling fitness coach quotes you're not selling printables for business you're not selling uh, notebooks on one, sing one single shop no right so you must choose a niche you can have the good thing like i said before about having low content product business you can have multiple shops multiple brands multiple businesses doing different things so each one should have its own niche you don't want to pack everything into one particular brand right so that one is, is just longer throat that you don't need so you, avoid the mistake of not choosing a niche first avoid trying to fit all kinds of products in one brand so you have one brand you are now selling notebooks journals plus printables plus quotes inside it won't work all right so you want to streamline your kinds of products to your brands and to your niche okay so you can say okay i want to set up an amazon store and on amazon store i'll have two shops all right i'll have two brands one brand will focus on selling only notebooks. Another brand will focus on selling only planners, or it will focus on selling only journals, or it will focus on shoot, or it will focus on selling only um, only workbooks. All right. So have different brands that do different things. Okay. Okay. I want to now set up a shop on seller. I'll have a shop that sells printables. Maybe I'll have another one that sells. Um, stickers or sales trackers or something like that. So you must make sure that you are not fitting too much, too many things in one brand. Avoid the mistake of not understanding the rules of each platform before publishing. Different platforms have their different rules. Like I said, you cannot publish printables on Amazon, right? You cannot publish printables on Amazon and you cannot expect Etsy to do print on demand for you. So you must understand the different rules of the different platforms. Seller, if you're going to sell notebook on seller, it will not sell. <laughs> Somebody will just buy a notebook unless you are telling them that this notebook you are buying, you will print it yourself. <laughs> All right? So they should know beforehand. So um, understand the rules of each platform before publishing. 
avoid part again this feeds on number three avoid you know incompatible platforms and products like i said don't put the wrong platform don't put the wrong products on the wrong platform all right avoid the mistake of zero branding so if you go and look at my instagram for my business keith and stone the branding is immaculate I chose my brand colors, I chose my fonts, I chose my backgrounds, I chose my logo. Everything is very, very particular. The language is particular. If you go to the store, the, um, the background, the, the product image, they are very, very particular. They are all in alignment, they are very uniform, all right? So um, you must make sure that you have a very good brand from the name to the logo to the look and feel of the page to the look and feel of the products you must make sure that your brand aligns with the audience you're focusing on okay so for example if you're a brand that is focusing on women you don't want to have serious colors or if you're a brand that is unisex you don't want to have things that are full of pink to avoid uh, to avoid chasing your male audience away okay so you must have proper branding if you're a unisex brand you want to have a very neutral um color avoid um not leveraging social media and pinterest if you're doing low content product business pinterest is your best friend write it down and save it pinterest is your best friend if you're doing low content product business okay and then leverage social media especially instagram instagram is a very visual place so when you're putting out your content your products out there you want to sell make sure it looks nice your branding your packaging the product placement has to look nice so leverage social media especially instagram and pinterest to be able to build your brand and get more sales then avoid the mistake of expecting your products to sell your, themselves. So you go now, you see Instagram or you see Amazon. Somebody posted notebooks, had thousands of sales. You do, do you think that people are just going to go and look for that person's notebook? No, the person is doing the work to drive sales to that person, to his, to his brand, to its notebook. All right. So all of those sales did not come for free. It is possible that the person might have even run ads. Maybe they run Amazon ads. Maybe they run Facebook ads or maybe they're running Instagram ads. Maybe they have a page on Instagram and they are building the page massively. And it is from that page that traffic is going to their store on Amazon. So you must know that your products will not sell themselves. So you can create the most beautiful products, but if you're not selling it, if you're not pushing the sales, it will not sell, all right? Everybody, anybody who is anybody can get into a low content business. Why should your own sell? It's because you're going the extra mile to do the extra work. To ensure that you're actually selling all right another mistake to avoid is not giving enough product description for your product so if you are selling for example you're selling a printable and people don't know it's a printable they won't buy or they don't know the dimensions they won't buy so let's say when you want to sell a a printable or you want to sell a notebook and people don't know the size of the notebook they don't know the dimensions. Is it A4? Is it A5? Is it 6 by 9? Is it 8 by 11? Is it 5 by 5 by 8.5? 5.5 by 8.5? Is it 7 by 11? What's the size? Is the interior black and white? Who is it for? Is it for me? Will I go and buy a journal and then I see inside that it's about uh, the people that I've lost in my life? Right? So you must give enough product description of your product. You must also explain, is it a PDF file? Is it a Word document file? Is it something that can, if it's a template, is it compatible on Canva? Is it compatible on InDesign? Is it compatible on, in fact, when you talk, when it comes to Canva, <laughs> when it comes to Canva and doing templates, you don't just want to create something and then download it like that and then go and sell as a template. It won't work. It will not work at all. There is a method to how you can actually create templates on Canva. There is a method. You don't just want to go and just cool create something then click save or download and then expect that it will work people will people would only get the pdf file okay somebody's asking me what are low content products you came late i'm sorry low content products are products that you don't require too much content eg notebooks journals planners you don't it's not like a book a book is a high content product because you see a lot of content inside of it a lot of words inside of it but low content products as the word implies, low amount of content, which means there's not a lot of words in it. 
there's sometimes hardly even any words inside, but it's content, okay? So um, mistake, don't ask, not giving enough product description, using the wrong format for the different kind of product. Again, like I said, so if you want to, for example, sell a printable, and your printable, you downloaded this as a JPEG file, people won't buy. Because people would use, for a printable, normally you want to actually save your printable as a PDF. You want to save it as a PDF and not as a JPEG. Then if you're selling Instagram quotes, your Instagram quotes have to be saved as JPEG or PNG files and not as PDF. So if you're now trying to sell a particular product and you're sending it with the wrong format, you're making a mistake. Another mistake to avoid is not being patient. You want to rush and start now because Ethereum it said it's easy to start. <laughs> it's easy to create all content products. It's not always easy to get started, especially if you're brand new. You must make sure that you have everything down to a T before you get started. Are we good? Are we good? Are we tired? Or you still want to hear more? All right? Are we good or you still want to hear more? How many people do we have now? 427. Okay. Awesome. Somebody's, I don't, I'm seeing other comments, so, but anyway, Sha, you, you repeat your comments again when I'm done, okay? Whew. Awesome, awesome. Are we good? Somebody's saying, right on, right on. We are good, though. We are good. Hi, Jama. Good, good, good morning. How are you doing? All right. Awesome. Great, great, great. If you say you're not tired, okay. All right. Let's move on. How do you choose a niche that sells? How do you choose a niche that sells? How do you choose a niche? This is like bonus. I was not supposed to teach this one, but I said, let me just teach it now. So that maybe you can start working on your niche at least pending when you eventually um, start your brand. All right. So um, how do you choose a niche that sell? Choose the kind of product you want to begin with. All right. So when you're starting out, don't just do everything. Choose one. I know it may be hard because there's so I've given you over 60 different kinds of products you can create. But choose one and start. First of all, just, do I want to do do I want to start with printables? Do I want to start with templates? Do I want to start with notebooks? Do I want to start with journals? Do I want to do planners? Which one is easiest for me to start? Which one is which one makes sense for me to start now? Where do I see myself starting with? All right. So choose the kind of product. No more than two. Okay, maybe you want to do um printables and you want to do templates for example or you want to do notebooks and you want to do journals right no more than two when you're getting started okay no more than two compatible products per brand okay no more than two compatible products per brand then next thing you want to do do your research and choose the product compatible platform you will be selling on so when you have chosen the product the next thing you choose the platform all right choose the product first then go and do your research to choose a platform so if you want to sell notebooks for example you know that it makes more sense for you to sell the notebooks on a platforms like amazon or ingram spark or lulu and definitely not etsy all right why because notebooks journals plans those are print on demand products they need to be printed out by the platform and Etsy does not print, Seller does not print. So you must first of all, choose the product and then decide on the platform you want to use. Then make sure that you meet the requirements of the platform. So if you're using Amazon, for example, it's either you have a US, US bank account or you have a Payoneer account. So Amazon is amazing when it comes to print on demand stationary business because you can do a whole lot of it. You can have, um, you can sell notebooks, you can sell journals, you can sell workbooks, you can sell your books, your actual books. You can actually create your actual books, all right, using Canva as well if you want to, or anything that helps you to convert to PDF. You can sell planners, you can sell um, a lot of anything that requires physical copy of products. You can sell diaries with paperback. On Amazon and guess what Amazon is bringing hard back so very soon they roll it out to the rest of the world it's now available to some people in the US but very soon it will be rolled out to the rest of the world so you can actually get your notebooks in hardback you can get your diaries and planners in hardback as well so Amazon is a great platform as in it's my favorite so far all right <laughs> it's my favorite but you must make sure that you meet the requirements of the platform so for you to be able to 
publish on Amazon, you need to have an Amazon KDP account. KDP means Kindle Direct Publishing, all right? So you, you, you need to have an Amazon KDP account, first of all, set it up. You need to set up your payment. If you don't have a US bank account, then you need to sign up for Payoneer and connect your Payoneer account to your Amazon account, all right? You have to be able to connect your Payoneer account to your Amazon account. Okay, so make sure that everything is ready so that when you start making sales, you can actually collect your money. So when your money goes to Amazon, you can, uh, to your Payoneer account, you can then transfer the money from your Payoneer account straight to your Nigerian bank account. Okay. Then after you make sure that you meet all the requirements, the next thing is research the products that are best sellers on the platform. So you saw that beginning part when we went to those, those people's books where we're researching the best sellers for those note blank black notebooks those are some of the best sellers so that tells you people are looking for blank books what if i make a blank white notebook cover or a blank gold right or marble color i go and look for how to design marble design marble designs are hot now for notebooks and journals they are really really hot so if you can have different types of marble designs all right so it looks like a marble countertop but it's the cover of the notebook or the journal you can have that as well. So look for and then research on the best sellers on the platform. Then you either go with what sells the most or you fill a gap. So we, when we went to um, Amazon, we saw a number of black notebooks. I didn't quite see white. You know what? Maybe I could fill the gap by creating a white notebook. Maybe it would be a direct competition to the black and it could actually sell. All right? So... Those are the two options. Then choose a niche with a large number of people. So for example, if I want to sell to college students, it's a large number of people. So if I want to sell notebooks, I want to sell notebooks that are catering to young adults, people that are between the ages of 16 and 25. What are the things that are fun for them? What are the things that are fads for them, right? So I can choose a niche that caters to a large number of people. There are a lot of young girls, for example. So I can decide, okay, I want to create notebooks for medical students. I want to create notebooks for engineering students. I want to create notebooks for accounting students, right? So you can have micro niches within your major niche as well. And that will really, really help you to sell, all right? Then go on Pinterest, review pins of products from that niche. So if I want to sell, let's say I want to sell um, books to um, college black American students, for example, black students, black female students in America. I want to put pictures of like black girls with their Afro hair, or I want to sell notebooks to Africans in diaspora. So I'm going to put Ankara colored notebooks. I've actually seen on Amazon. I didn't, I didn't take the screenshot. There's, there's um, um, Amazon notebooks and journals that look like Ankara. Do you know that there are Amazon notebooks notebooks and journals on amazon that look like ankara so it's very Afri african print so all the black people want to get those you know connecting to the motherland african print stuff so go on pinterest review pins of products from that niche and remember don't pack one brand with multiple products from different niches have separate brands and cater to the different brands okay so that's how you choose a niche a root and niche pardon me a niche that sales okay so where do you find customers when you're choosing your niche you set up your brand where do you find customers you can find your customers on instagram so you can set up an instagram page you can find customers on pinterest so when you create a product on like etsy for example or amazon you can actually pin it on pinterest all right so you can pin it on pinterest people like what they see they will automatically click on it and be taken to your shop and they will buy you can also create a facebook group that is focused on that particular niche. You're giving them amazing content and they are selling products. This particular lady I follow, her name is Amber. And Amber has a niche where she sells templates to online course creators. So she focus, focuses on online courses. So she sells templates uh, for online course creators. She sells um, 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 presentation templates for people who want to do slides for their courses. She also sells lead magnet templates, workbooks, ebooks, and challenge templates as well. So she has a Facebook group where she gives amazing value to authors, to coaches, online course creators, and so on and so forth. Then she sells her templates. And me, I'm in her group, and I've bought her templates, and they're really nice. That was where I even got the idea that, hey, she's selling templates, and I'm buying. I'm like, why can't I get my own templates as well? 
you know, and do my own templates. So you can get customers on Instagram, you can get customers on Pinterest, you can get customers on your group, you can get those customers on YouTube. There's a lady I follow, I can't remember her name, on YouTube. She has an Etsy store, but she teaches people Etsy. She teaches people how to how to buy stuff on Etsy. She teaches people how to do arts and crafts. She teaches DIY stuff. And then she redirects you to her shop to actually buy this stuff, right? And she makes a lot of money. She has like over 10,000 subscribers. So she's constantly putting out YouTube videos where she's showing people how to do DIY crafts. And then she will redirect them to her store to buy the craft that she has just taught them how to design. Because people will see it and they're like, I don't have time to go to the market to start buying the different items to put together to make that craft. Let me just kukuma buy the finished product. And she's doing fantastically well with it. She's in YouTube. There's also e email lists. So you can also build an email list where you're actually giving great content and then selling to the people on your email list. Um, um, that, all right? So this is where you find customers. Ooh. Now, pro tip. Pro tip for those of you who are going to be creating your store. Create your own templates for repetitive design. So if you're somebody who's going to be designing notebooks, for example, take one day to just create templates. What do I mean by templates? Create parts of the products that you know that you are going to use every single time you create. So for example, somebody, um, somebody who is creating notebooks, for example, you want to sell notebooks on Amazon. You don't have to start creating the entire interior of the notebook from scratch every time you want to create a brand new notebook. It's a waste of time. You can instead create the entire interior of the notebook and save it as a PDF file because it's the PDF you upload to Amazon anyway. So I can decide that today I'm going to create um, notebooks of the size six by nine inches. And I'll create six by nine inches, 50 pages, Six by nine inches, 70 pages, six by nine inches, 100 pages, six by nine inches, 150 pages. You can use, um, I think it's PDF escape also to be able to merge PDFs together. You can only create up to 100 pages on Canva, on Canva Pro. So if you want to create something that has more than 100 pages, you have to create the first 100 and then create the rest and then use PDF escape. I think that's what it's called. Or is it merge PDF? There's Merge PDF, and I think there's PDF Escape, one of them, to merge the PDFs together. So you can merge it, and I, I have, okay, I will tell you. So one of my brands on Amazon, I create planners, right? And one of the planners I created, um, the last planner I created was a travel itinerary. It was a, it was a travel planner, an itinerary. It was 326 pages. 326 pages. So I had to create the pages four times because Amazon only, um, Canva only allows you to create up to 100 pages at a time. So I created the pages four times and then used one of those um, merging things for to merge it. So somebody say you can use Google Slides. I'm not talking about Google Slides, I'm using Canva because Canva, there are a lot of things that you could do easily with Canva. For example, resizing a document, using the templates and the things inside the Canva that Google Slides does not have, all right, to design. So if you're designing, it's not about merging, you can, you can actually, you, I'm talking about, you know, using Canva as a designing tool, all right? So um, create your own templates, right? Create your own templates and save them. So that every time you want to upload, all you need to do is just go on Canva, create the cover, design a new cover, and then upload the cover plus the template you already have. So if you're a notebook person and you want to create 100 different notebooks in one week, you don't have to start creating 100 interiors every single time. Just write down the sizes and the number of pages you want to create and create those ones as templates and keep them. So that next time, all you need to do is just create the covers and match the covers to the actual size and number you want to upload and then just upload it like that. So that's a pro tip, okay? That is a pro tip for you, especially for people who are creating templates. If you're, whether you're doing ebook templates, workbook templates, um, you're creating uh, journals, for example, that have months, dates, to-do lists and so, so all those to-do lists, all those monthly calendars, weekly calendars, 
daily calendars, those kind of things are templates that you can save. And you can actually save them in folders on your Canva. All right? You can save them in your Canva in folders so that when you want to design, just go to your folder and just upload and just add it. Go to your folder, upload, add it. Go to your folder, upload, add it. It's as simple as that. So that you don't kill yourself every time. That's what shortens your time for creation. So that when you want to create next time, subsequently, after you finish designing your initial design, you don't have to keep redesigning over and over. You can use the same templates you had before in new products. Okay, so that's a pro tip. Whew. Now, would you like to learn how to create cover designs quickly on Canva? All right. So different, different. Somebody said I didn't finish my story. I did. Oh, I finished my story. Different, different um, books have different covers. OK, so. If you want to create a book that is the size of six by nine. You have to know how to actually do that on Canva. All right. So when you want to design your book cover for publishing on Amazon print on demand, you have to have the page that is large enough to to design both the back and the front. Some people don't know this. You think that you just they will just go and design only the front. And they don't know how to do the back. It can be quite interesting, all right? Especially when you're doing the back and you need to put your logo. You don't want to put your name on a notebook, for example. So there's, <laughs> there's a difference in the kind of covers that you create for notebooks, workbooks, planners, and so on and so forth. So would you like to learn how to create cover designs quickly on Canva, right? Now, what about workbooks and print-on-demand books for Amazon? Would you like to know how to use Canva to be able to design workbooks easily and print-on-demand books as well for Amazon? All right. So print-on-demand books, whether it's your ebook that you want to design, whether it's your um, whether it's your uh, planner that you want to design, whether it's your journal that you want to design, would you like to learn how to do that? It's very easy. Who wants to learn? It's very, very easy. Very, very easy. Right? So these are examples of notebooks, like I shared before. Notebooks, very, very <laughs> easy notebooks that somebody just created. They just designed this cover. Now, on the right is my own. This is a, is a um, planner or guide that I created. And I actually have physical copies. I forgot to pull them where I am to where I'm sitting down. $1,000 in 30 days. This particular book you're seeing here, this mock-up you're seeing here, I did this in Canva just before I came. When I was designing my slides, I actually just did this in Canva. Right? And this is an actual book that I have on Amazon just to show you this is it. All right? So that book is actually published on Amazon, okay, and um, it's seventy pages. It's seventy pages, and it's an ultimate guide for business owners and coaches who want to make money selling eBooks. And it sells for twenty three dollars, right? It sells for twenty three dollars, and guess what? Most of the book is mostly just notes, notes pages, notes pages. And it contains really, really good information to help people to be able to plan for $100, uh, $1,000 in 30 days, right? So I created this on the 29th of July, 2020, and it's been selling since then, and it's been selling at $23 only, all right? I was excited to learn how I did this. And I designed the entire thing on Canva, including the cover. I designed the entire thing. I told you I'm not a graphic designer. Look at my cover. It's not even fine, right? I'm not a graphic designer at all. At all, at all, at all. Okay. But this is a book that actually sells. All right. Somebody gave me a stinking review, but I don't mind. The person actually bought the book and the review is good and it helped me. And I'm going to take action on that. Now, some of you who are here probably already know about my Amazon printed profits bundle already. And some of you already have it. That's okay. Right. But those of you who don't yet have it, um, my Amazon Printed Profits Bundle goes for 60K on my website, okay? Because it took me a lot of work to do, and it is really a deep dive, in, deep dive, deep dive into how you can actually use Canva to create all of this and create an Amazon account where you can actually sell your low-content products, okay? So 
I created this Amazon Printed Profits Bundle and it is a tutorial bundle. It's an online course, basically, where I actually go through behind the scenes, things I couldn't do on this webinar. I do them in this my course. I go online and I teach you how to set up your own Amazon account. In fact, I set up a brand new Amazon account so that you can follow me step by step for those of you who want to learn how to create your Amazon account. And I also teach you how to you know, overcome the issues with tax and payment issues. All right. So people who try to set up Amazon account, they get stuck with the tax, especially if you're Nigerian or African, they get stuck with the tax. All right. They're like, oh, um, I cannot do this tax thing. They're asking me many, many questions. What do I do? If they even manage to get, get over the tax, the next thing is payment. So I teach you also how to create a Pioneer account and how to link your Pioneer account to Amazon and how to withdraw your funds as well. OK, so. If you're having issues with withdrawing your funds from Amazon, you need to get a Pioneer account. And some people don't know how to set it up. They don't know how to link it to Amazon. They don't know how to withdraw their money. So I do a tutorial where I created a brand new um, Pioneer account live, and you get to follow me step by step as I do it. I also um, included how to publish a Kindle ebook on Amazon. It's a live tutorial I did back in 2017, same steps. I teach how to publish a Kindle book on Amazon. All right. Then I teach how to publish a paperback book on Amazon. So if you're publishing actual physical books, you know, I teach you how to do that again live. I publish a live book for you to see. Then there is also um, another training that teaches how to publish workbooks and planners onto Amazon. It's slightly different from publishing paperback books. So I teach you, I, I actually publish a workbook and a planner onto Amazon um, for you as well. I show you the process of how to do that. Then I showed you how to create 3D book, workbook, and planner mockups uh, mock for marketing using a platform called adazing.com. That was before Canva did their up update to now actually include mockups. But it's still good to learn this. So I included that training there as well. Then um, it's one thing to know how to upload the products. It's another thing to know how to sell on Amazon which a lot of people don't know how to do. That's why people, I hear people shouting, people don't make money on Amazon in, from Nigeria. Mm. It's your business. But if you want to learn how to actually sell your eBooks, your workbooks, and your planners, I teach you how to do that in a complete tutorial video there. Then I also include a free copy of my book, The Business of Writing Books, for those of you who want to learn how to build a business writing books. Then apart from that, I also add, I added an Amazon approved six by nine paperback template, right? So people who want to be able to create um, books and publish onto Amazon, and you don't want to have to deal with the size of the book and then Amazon telling you it's not compatible or so on and so forth. I uploaded, I added a, an Amazon approved six by nine inches paperback template. And I then included the paperback cover templates, the Canva ready. So to those of you who want to learn how to actually create um, covers, I actually have a template inside of this bundle that all you need to do is just upload it onto Amazon, or upload it onto your Canva, and then put it onto the Canva, and then just design on top of it. Then when you're ready to download it, just delete out the template, and then keep it for later. So that is how you can actually design. You don't need to have major calculation and design techniques. All you need to do is just upload that my uh, template, design on top of it and then <laughs> remove it when you are ready to then download okay now for a bonus everybody who's going to be purchasing this tonight you're going to be getting tonight's webinar replay absolutely free like i said there's no this, this replay there is no guarantee you're going to watch any replay but it's so valuable and you don't want to have to be looking for this facebook group every time you want to come and find the things that we talked about in this class. So this entire class will be saved and uploaded onto the Amazon Printed Profits Bundle or my academy. So everybody who buys it today will eventually get the webinar replay automatically. All right, so isn't that pretty cool? Now, like I said, this bundle or this online course is 60,000 Naira normally, but for tonight, for 24 hours only, it's going for 10,000 Naira flat. So you're able to save 50,000 Naira from your purchase when you purchase today. So that's the link at the bottom. 
think I need to stop share. How do I skip? How do I skip? Okay. Um, Lala. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to be able to scroll this across the screen so that those of you who have got it before, you are good to go. All right. You already have it so well done to you. You don't need what I'm offering. This is for people who haven't gotten it before. All right. Look at the testimonials. Look at the testimonials there. All right. So that's it. Get the Amazon Preacher Profits Bundle. That's the link there. So you can take a screenshot of this and actually go get it. Uh, I, okay. Thank you very much, Precious. You, you, you went ahead of me. So that is it. Only 10K. See, I've tried. First of all, I've taught you amazing value tonight with this webinar that is absolutely free. Secondly, I have slashed down my price, but I don't know how many percent now, over over 80% off for 24 hours for those of you who didn't get Amazon Print Their Profits Bundle before. Those of you who got it before, what I've shared with you in this webinar is just an upgraded knowledge. So that thing that you knew before, that the courses that you, the bundle that you have and you've watched before, what I've shared with you now should give you the energy and the excitement to go and start working and creating your 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 um, business if you haven't done so before. And those, those of you who haven't gotten it before, here's your chance to get it tonight at just 10,000 Naira only. Yeah? Okay? So who's excited about this? Who is excited about this? Right? Who's excited about this? Someone's seen the screen yard. Right? Someone's saying for bank payments, only very few banks are available on the platform. Use the USS, use bank transfer. Use bank transfer. When you use bank transfer, a bank detail will appear. Hmm? So you don't have use bank transfer, not even USSD. Use bank transfer. Click on bank transfer. A special bank account will come out for you to be able to do transfer. All right. So you just do a transfer to that link. When you have done your transfer, you come back to the payment page and click, I have made payment. And that's it. And you automatically get access immediately. So this is not something that if you pay now, you get it tomorrow. Something. As soon as you, you get this, you will get instant access to the bundle on my academy. And in 24 hours or so, you will get the bonus of tonight's webinar replay added to the academy brand new apps. You don't need to even do anything about that. So who's excited to get it? So somebody got the bundle last year. Those of you who got the bundle last year, have you actually watched the video? Have you got the video? Have you, I, have you actually started working on it? I know that Binta Thiri, Binta put out um, her, her tracker. I think it was a financial tracker or financial planner or something like that. And I know Binta got the bundle last year she got the, the the course amazon printed profits course last year and i was shocked when i saw what she was able to do with it today i actually took a screenshot of of her of her her track i was amazed another person and is a particular lady who's a grandmother in my facebook group a grandmother she teaches people um she helps young children who um are special needs kids she's a grandmother and she's been able to actually start her stationary shop as well on Amazon. Grandmother, somebody's grandma, right? Was able to start her stationery shop and she's actually created um, low content products that she's actually selling, all right? So if they can, mean that to you as well, she's, she works in civil service, right? And she's busy, she has a nine to five job. She also works as a finance coach and she's also creating her own um, printables, her own trackers for her business as well. So even though you don't even want to probably even sell, but you're a coach, you're a consultant, you, you're a digital product creator, you build um, a community, you have email lists, and you want to be able to create um, amazing lead magnets, you need to get this so that you can learn how to use Canva to be able to create those, okay? Someone is asking, how long do we have access to the bundle? It's a lifetime access. It's a lifetime access, all right? Um, Raima says, I got it last year and I've used it to put my novel on Amazon, which is now earning me money in dollars. 
All right. See, Binta. So Binta is here. Thank God she's here to even bear me, bear me witness. Binta has an amazing um, um, Facebook group where she teaches about financial, um, financial intelligence, financial education. And she uses, she, she, I think, it. I actually, to tell you that, I actually took a screenshot. Right? Let me show you. Don't know if you can see. Tracking income and expense tracker. That's the name here, right? Tracking income and expense tracker. I'm not sure if you can see it. That's it. There. And she actually did a good job with the um, mock-ups as well. It is lovely. She has an expense tracker. She has a monthly glance. She has a monthly calendar and other things inside of it again. So Binta is really, really, really rocking it. Rima says, how can I assess the Amazon printer profits bundle on your app? You already had it before we put it on the app. All right, so you, you just have access where you are, okay? Raima, but don't worry, I got you. Um, Kelechi says, I'm a Shopify staff. You can get videos on how to use Shopify. Go to YouTube and check for videos on how to sell on Shopify. Thank you very much for that, um, Kelechi. Yes, there's hardly anything that you are looking for that you will not find on YouTube, all right? So you can actually go on YouTube and check. Um, Uduma says, does the bundle have a training or step-by-step -step guide on how to create workbooks, notebooks, and planners on Canva? Does it cover how to handle the Etsy platform? So again, if you look at the flyer there, there is a guide on how to publish workbooks and planners onto Amazon and how to even create, I think, how to create, how to create workbooks is also there as well. If it's not there, I will, I will check. There's a lot of things on there, right? Um, unfortunately, this flyer here doesn't even contain all the things because when I uploaded it onto my, my academy, I added more stuff. I added more stuff to it. It does not contain how to handle the Etsy platform. No. However, however, I am thinking of doing a separate workshop on how to actually start with my book, on how to actually start and create a low content business, like a proper uh, business startup class. If I get enough people who are interested, I'll probably put um, set a class for 8th of May. If I get enough people who are interested, who actually want a hands-on workshop on how to, prop, like you probably want a workshop on maybe how to design a printable, you want a workshop on how to design social media quotes for Etsy. You want a workshop on navigating the Etsy platform. You probably want a workshop on how to set up a uh, set up your products on seller, how to set up your brand. If you want a workshop on that, but probably if I get enough interest, I'll probably teach a workshop. It won't be free. It won't be free at all. It won't be free, but it will not be 60K. I can promise you. Like, um, I really, well, I really want to help, so it will not be 60K. I don't know how much it's going to be, but if I get enough interest, if I get 150 people who are interested, I will probably prepare to teach that kind of class, okay? Any other questions? How long will you have access? It's lifetime. Femi saying, um, apart from Amazon, do you have lectures on how to use and market Etsy, Seller, Shopify, and other sites? Okay, I think I just said that now. If I have enough interest, I'll probably teach that. So it will now be a different master class where I will teach that, okay? Um, Amazon printer, okay, thank you. How long do we have access? I think I've answered that already. It's lifetime, all right? But you only get to pay 10,000 in the next 24 hours. After 24 hours, if you go back there, you see it at 60K, all right? So take advantage now while you still can, okay? All right, so if you have any questions, um, please ask your questions. Now, you know what? A lot of people seem to have come late. I will leave the replay till morning. I will leave this replay up until morning. That's the best I will do, okay? I'll leave the replay up until morning, but by morning, it will go down, and it will go into the Amazon Printed Profits Bundle. And if anybody else wants the replay, you probably have to purchase it on my academy. I'll put an announcement to that. It's more money. You only purchase it for like four, five, or five K, all right? All right. All right, so how many people are actually getting this now? How many people are getting this today? I know that it's not going to pass you by. Let me see your comments in the comment section. Everybody's running away now. Say people should wait. People are not waiting. 
You don't want to hear the final announcement. The free things that I want to give to you people now, you don't want to hear. Okay. Everybody's running away. It's all good. Wait, because I have one last announcement to make, and this one is going. Everybody's gonna. Everybody's gonna enjoy this one. I promise you. Okay. Does the training have a step-by-step -step guide on how to market the product? Yes, on Amazon it has a, it has a um, marketing plan on on how to actually sell your products on Amazon. So this is the Amazon Printed Profits Bundle. This really focuses on people who want to build um, stores on Amazon not necessarily on Etsy or Shopify or Seller, okay? So this is only for Amazon. I don't yet have any paid training on Etsy or Shopify or Seller. However, I am saying if I get enough interest, I'll probably put together a masterclass or maybe do a bundle just like this one where I would do like a behind the scenes tutorial on how to actually set it up and navigate the platforms, all right? If I get enough interest, I'll probably do that by next week i make an announcement okay so i'm seeing a couple of people saying i'll set the class auntie edgy day is here it says i got your amazon printed profits bundle in march last month i'm here to view it ah please view it too um love it says that's why i said people should not run away love it is saying you didn't show us the 100 page notebooks you share on your instagram this is why i said people should not run away i'm not done so people are already going i'm saving the best for last I haven't showed you how you can create that 100-page notebook in three minutes. So people are still running away. It's okay. Uh, someone says, is a PNA account if one has account has an account other than USD? If you have a um, if you have a British account, I think you can use a British account. If you have a British account, if you have a um, British pound account with a, with a British bank, you can use that. Um. I'm not sure about other countries, honestly, for Amazon. Um, I haven't tried, but I'm not sure about other countries. I should try you with my bank account here. I will try and see if it will go through. Um, as you said, that bundle really made everything easier. I actually thought it would be impossible for me to publish on Amazon myself. You simplified, your simplified way of teaching is top notch. Oh, thank you. Adele says I'm interested. How do, we, how do I price my product? Get the bundle if you're getting on Amazon Printed Profits Bundle. I talk about um, pricing there. All right. Um, Doreen says, where can we get the payment details? That's what's on the screen up there. School.edinyadeo.com slash courses slash APPE. Go there. That's where the course is. It's in my academy. Once you pay, you get access to the course instantly inside of the academy. All right. So go there and, and get that. Um um victor is saying how long as affordable she's teach i'm interested affordable is relative um mercy says how do i market this product on amazon get amazon printed profits bundle if you see it here i talk about my complete ebook workbook planner marketing plan on amazon i teach how to do that okay how do we price our products get the amazon printed profit bundle as the bundle be updated, I bought before. No, it's the same thing, but people who are watching today, they get an extra benefit because they're watching today and I'm being nice to them. So I'm going to be giving them the bonus of tonight's webinar replay, this particular replay, all right? They're getting that absolutely free. And um, when selling quotes or printables, how do you protect your product? That's on Etsy's platform and Shopify platform. Um, there are ways in which they protect your product, but you can always report a particular um, seller if they are stealing your products. You can report them, okay? Is there a copyright policy? Yes, there is. As long as you can prove that somebody infringes your copyright, they will take their pages down, sometimes even block their accounts even. Um, how do I price my products on this platform? If you're pricing your products on Amazon, if you're publishing on Amazon, get the Amazon Printed Profits Bundle. Okay. Messi says I'm getting it in the next 24 hours. Who else is getting it? Um uh -oh. okay. Taye Fabi Bayode says, I'm curious. When your name is searched on Google, a knowledge panel comes up by the right side of Google. This is something that a lot of celebrities have when their name is being searched. Do you think being an Amazon author is the reason why yours shows up as well? No, it shows up because I'm a celebrity. That's the less truth. I'm not bragging, but that's the truth. I've been verified by Google. That's why I have a knowledge panel beside when you Google my name. 
<laughs> I, 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 I am verified by Google. So Google has verified me. If you check on Crunch, Crunchbase, you also see me there. Last time I checked, I was like number 120 something thousand person in rank in the world in business. So all those help. Um, the work I've done, deliberately building my influence, deliberately. I think Amazon helps as well, but I've been on a lot of platforms, a lot of really known platforms. I'm on Goodreads, I'm on Google Books, I'm on Apple Books, I'm on Amazon. I'm on Crunchbase, I'm on Social Media Week Lagos, I'm on Social Media Week Nairobi, I'm on a lot of influential platforms. I've been on Guardian, I've been on Eventbrite, I've been mentioned on many, many platforms, I've been featured on newspapers, I've won awards, uh, feature awards, social media good. I've been invited by Google, Google Women Will three times now, since 2018. So yes. <laughs> I have a lot of pedigree on the internet. So um, I was deliberate about building my influence. So that's why you can see a knowledge panel. How do you market this low content content on Amazon? Get the bundle. It's there. It's talk I literally have an entire tutorial on the marketing plan for how you can market these things. <clears throat> my voice is going, excuse me while I drink some water. Chime is asking for the Amazon printed bundle. Is there a group where we can get answers to our questions, if any? So I have a Facebook group called Online Publishers and Entrepreneurs Network. You can ask questions there, all right? And if we can, we'll answer you. So you can make a post or you can comment on any of my posts on my group. And um, I, would answer, I would answer you there. So I have a group. Um, this is the group that is scrolling under right now. Let me turn this off. So this is the group that is scrolling under right now. Um, I will just, that's it scrolling under right now, facebook.com slash groups slash OPE network, right? So um, that is the group, right? So if you want to ask questions, you can ask questions there. Um, Comfort is asking on marketing the products like, like on Instagram, do I create separate accounts for each niche of brand? And it's advisable to do so. Um, would the rebate be sent to those who already purchased the bond before? Unfortunately, being no. This is a special gift for those who are actually purchasing it today. However, if you want to get the replay, um, I will put it up on my academy. It will not be free, but it will be Sharma price, Sharma and ice cream. All right, should be Sharma and ice cream if you want to get it, okay? Um, what other businesses are you into? A lot, mostly on um, publishing. I do a lot of publishing, publishing stuff. I do other things. I do consulting as well. I do business consulting and strategy. I do systems, processes, and structures. Consulting for brands as well, okay? Um, how can one market these local content products on Amazon? Please get the bundle, all right? Please get the Amazon printed, printed profits bundle. I explained that there, okay? Would the replay be available to those of us who already bought the Amazon printed profits bundle? It will be available for uh, a ridiculously low price. What's the academy? How do I get into your academy? Follow the link um, on, the, on the screen that you are seeing at the bottom where it says go to school.edmedel.com slash courses slash APPE. All right. Mm -hmm. How are you sure your quotes are similar to others? Do your research. If, how are you sure your quotes are not similar to others? Do your research before you type it, before you put up a quote. It should be a quote that you invented yourself. All right. So don't go and copy other people's quotes and sell. If not, they will block your account. Right. Mm. All right, Gregory says, I just got mine. Brenda says, me too, awesome. So people are already getting theirs as well. Uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, okay. I I can see that. Mm, I've been getting, I've been hearing the uh, notifications coming since. So those are, those are the purchases, that's pretty cool. Um, who else is getting it again? Andrew says, <laughs> 
Yes. Is it legal to use Canva design on your notebooks for sale? You have to be very careful. If you're using Canva Pro designs and you're not using the Canva Pro, you're not subscribed to Canva Pro, it's not it's not um, recommended because when you eventually download the, the product, you will see those bars, those lines, and you see the Canva logo inside of what it is that you do. You can purchase those um, Canva um, photos for, I think it's about a dollar or so. If you don't have it, you can purchase it so you can get the right. But if you're using Canva Pro, you usually have the rights to, but you have to be very careful so that um, um, you're not using um, features that are not available to you, that you cannot use for commercial purposes. So if you're not very clear, read the copyrights part of, of uh, on Canvas page and their blog to know exactly what you can and cannot use. I usually advise people to import their own um, photos and their own um, stock images and designs. It's very easy to do, okay? Yeah. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. What formats do we sell our designs on Etsy? PDF, JPEG, or Pink? It depends on whatever it is that you are trying to sell. Go on Etsy and do your research and see the form formats that are available for what it is that you want to sell. Okay. Can I give, can I create other people's quotes and give them credit on Amazon? No. And again, you don't put quotes on Amazon. You're only putting things that can be printed, print on demand products, ebooks. Um, books, workbooks, notebooks, planners, and um, um, diaries. Those are what you put on Amazon, not quotes. That's not for Amazon. So I said, again, do your research to be sure that you're actually creating the right kind of products for the right kind of platforms. Um, Maria says, for someone who's new to this, where do I start from? Get the Amazon Printed Profits Bundle. That's a great place to get started from, OK? Love Dig says Google verified the dinner to the world to be like you when I grew up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Maria says that the ABC of the online marketing slash store. So for Amazon, if you're going to publish on Amazon, get the Amazon printed profits bundle. I start from the scratch, from how to set up your account, how to create this, how to withdraw your phone, how to publish everything. This is for Amazon. However, um, if you want to learn about how to maybe build a seller store and start over, maybe on, understand how to navigate an Etsy store or a Shopify store. If, you, if I have enough people who are interested in those, I will teach a class or do a bunch of tutorials and bundle them together like this one and put it out there for, for you guys to get it, okay? Can one create this low content notebook on any topic? Okay. Um, notebooks, like we saw before, notebooks are notebooks. It's like the 40 leaf notebook that you buy in your normal bookshop. So it doesn't have a topic per se. You can decide to create different colors of the covers of the notebooks, but it doesn't have topics. So you need to be absolutely clear on what it is you're creating, okay? Um, Victor says, how long do you think it will take a starter to build influence and online status before one will start making sales on Amazon, seller, stay, yeah. seller, Etsy, etc. So again, this do not require your personal brand to build influence. This requires marketing strategies that do not necessarily have to do with your personal brand because it's not like you are teaching. It does not have to do with your knowledge. It only has to do with your skill, your ability to create. All right, so it doesn't have to do with you building. You don't need to build influence. The other products I'm selling, the people who I'm selling those products to don't know who I am. They don't know who I am. They don't need to have my influence for me to make money from them. All right, so many of those pages I showed you, for example, on, on Amazon like this, I don't know who these people are. They didn't build any influence, but I'm sure that they had some other way of marketing. So it's your skill and then your ability to market, all right? And... Um, that's a different topic on its own, okay? Trying to get the bundle, but it keeps saying card empty. I can't assess it. Any help with this? And um, Precious, please help Bonanly. Thank you. Um, does Amazon accept PayPal payments? No, Amazon doesn't, all right? Is there any need to add name or logo to the notebook cover or journal? Absolutely not. If it's a notebook or a journal, you don't need to add. At the back, maybe you could put like maybe your Instagram handle or your logo finish at the back, but not necessarily at the front, okay? Now, I want to show you, 
I want to show you how you can actually create, right? How you can create a notebook, a 100 page notebook, all right? The interior page, I said I was going to show you how to do that. That's what I'm saying. I'm saving saving the, uh, the, the best for last, okay? Um, so I go to create new design. Um, then I click on custom size. Let's say I want to create um, in inches. I want to create eight by 11. 11, so this is the width, this is the height. The width is the shortest part. The height is 11. Eight by 11 is basically A4 paper, all right? I want to create a notebook that is A4 paper, okay? So I click on create design. I click on custom size. I put in the dimensions I want to do. So when you are creating, you first of all want to put in your dimensions, all right? So I click on create new design. So I click on that, then it opens a page, all right? So it's opened the page for me. Let me zoom it a bit so that you can see it. All right, so it's opened the page for me. This is a blank page, all right? There's nothing, there's just one page. So the interior of my notebook, I want to now create, maybe where somebody can write their name, all right? So this function that I want to share with you right now, it only, it's only available for Canva Pro, all right? People who have Canva Pro who are actually paying so I go to show margins. I go to file and I click on show margins. What that basically means is that it shows me where I can write to, all right? It shows me the limits where I can create to, okay? So I don't want to create out of this. If not, it may cut when they are printing the book. So I usually would always put a margin before I start creating. So I would never put words or write anything or create or put any stuff outside of this line this margin that's my margin okay so i have this this is done then the next thing i want to go is i want to put a text so i come here to the corner and click on text i click here uh click to add text let's say i pick this big one now i want to make this um a bit softer this font is too huge so i want to click a better font so i click on fonts and i click on playlist script this is one of my favorite I click on play this script so it changes the font. So I want to now write where this person's name would be. I'll write this notebook belongs to. So you see that it's now coming out of the margins, right? If I didn't have a margin now, for example, I would think this is okay. So I click on this and then I just reduce, reduce it a bit and then adjust it. I want it to be somewhere just here. So I put it here at the middle. So you see these lines, these rulers, these purple rulers help me to know where I'm at the middle or not. So I put this at the middle. So this notebook belongs to, then I want to put a line so where people can write their names, all right? So I come to elements, I come to elements, I look for lines, so shapes, frames, lines. So I click on lines, then I choose a line. All right, so let's say I choose this line, it's free. Choose this line, I want it to be black. So I come here, click on color, and I click on black. All right, so it's black. Now, I click on the line again, and I can stretch it. But this line is too thick. I don't like this line. So I will delete it and look for a line that I can actually adjust especially these ones at the top. So I click on that line, it looks adjustable. When I click on the line to know whether your line is adjustable or not, when you click on the line, you will see this um, edit signs here. So I can easily change the width of the lines if I want to, to make it thick or to change it to dotted lines or broken lines or to change it to arrows and stuff like that. So I like the size of this line. So I'll just move it up a bit, right? So I've created my first page of my line. All right, I created the first page of my line. Now, the next thing I want to create is the lines, the ruled parts of the book. I want to create a 100 page book. So this is page one. So I click on here that says add page. And then this is where I start putting the lines. So I come back again to my normal line, click my line. I want to reduce the line. Okay, it seems a bit reduced. 
how to reduce the line weight. If I reduce it down, so I want it to be very thin. It's on two, it's too thin. Four is just okay, right? So I have the line four. So I click on the line again, move it up a bit. Looks good at this point. The line starts at the edge of the margin and ends at the edge of the margin. If yours doesn't start, you can always draw it from one end to another. Okay, so I clicked on the line. Then next thing, I'll click on duplicate. So I can use Control D to duplicate. So it's basically like your MS Word. So Control D, or if you're using a Mac, Command D to duplicate. So I duplicate it several times, as many times as I can possibly get. Duplicate like that. Just keep duplicating a lot. So what I will now do is I've duplicated up onto the edge. All right. So see what I do. I would copy the line. So I would le um, left click and then drag. Uh oh, okay. I left click somewhere at the top and then drag so I can select all the lines. All right. So I select all the lines. Then I come here to position. I come to position and I put either vertically, space evenly vertically, or tidy up. So let's space it evenly vertically. So which means that all the lines will have equal space between them. The next thing I click on, tidy up. When I click on tidy up, it straightens immediately. So the lines become straight. See it? The lines become absolutely straight. So I just adjust it to the top. I click on one of those lines again because it has not reached the end. So I click on Ctrl D again several times. Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, 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 D. All right, so it has reached the end. Then I copy again. I... See right click or left click? I think I left click and copy everything again. Then I come back again to position and I come back to vertically. And then I come back to tidy up. When it tidies up, when I click on tidy up, everything becomes absolutely straight, all right? Then I add it into the page. So in literally less than one or two minutes, I have actually created the first page. Now, you would think that I have to do this for the rest of the 100 pages, but no. Thank God for Canva. All I need to do is come up here to the page. This is page two. Come up here to the page. Click on this duplicate page. And it duplicates the page. Because it's a notebook, the pages have to be exactly the same. I duplicate the page. And then I keep duplicating the page. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, all the way to 100. So if I click on this bottom grid view, for example, I can actually see all the pages I want to see everything at once. I can see all the pages. So I can come here again and just click on duplicate if I want to, and then just keep duplicating and duplicating as much as I want. So that's all I do. And literally within minutes, I have finished creating the interior of an entire notebook that I can use to create 10 different notebooks if I want to in one day. So all I have to do after creating this interior and getting up to the number of pages that I want is to just create the covers. So once I get my template for my cover, all I need to do again is just keep changing the designs until I get to number 10, all right? So let's leave it here at 60. Whew enough so imagine you're just doing it that because i'm teaching you it's a bit slower but how many minutes did it take me to even still teach you someone's asking the lines not to close yes it's closed but i'm teaching however 
Some people like very close lines, some people like thick lines, depending on the preference. So when I, again, when I'm not doing the description, I will not write close lines or um, packed lines. Or I'll write how many rules that they are on a page. I'll write it that this book contains maybe 40 rules on a page. Again, remember that this size is eight by five, right? Look at if I click on resize, you see eight by eleven rather eight by eleven. So this is basically an A4 paper. So if it was thick lines, by the time this comes out in print, it's going to be very, very, very thick. So let's go up to hundred pages, hundred percent, so that you can see how it actually would look like realistically, right? So this is about a hundred. So this is how it looks like. It is perfect for people who have tiny handwritings like me, right? So this is an A4 page. So you can imagine how many lines would be if it was fatter than this, it would be way too more space between the lines, all right? So when I finish doing that, I say, okay, this is um, notebook interior, eight by 11 inches, 60 pages, or 60 words, 61 pages, right? So I save it like this as a template. Then I click on download, and I come here and download this as PDF print. Whenever you are um, creating documents that you're going to use for print on demand, always use PDF print because that gives you high quality um, image. It may be higher in size, but it gives you better quality when it's being printed so that it's actually quite nice, all right? And then I click on download and it downloads. So it's downloading here right now, all right? Then I click on save. So the next time I want to create an eight by 11 notebook with 61 pages interior, I don't need to create from scratch again on Canva because I already have it saved. All I would do is just go and pull that file and upload it onto Amazon. And then the next thing I need to do is just to create the cover for this page. You see, this is very, very easy. Chime says, just the cover of the notebook, a platform to market the book, and you are good to go. Exactly. Exactly. Sunday, Tony says, you have delivered me this time. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Someone is asking about ISBN. Okay. But now, if you're publishing with Amazon, here's my distance. If you're publishing on Amazon, right if you're publishing on amazon and you're getting the amazon printed profits bundle when i teach how to publish a kindle book how to publish paperback and how to publish workbook and planners i explain the isbn part if you're publishing that's one of the great things about isbn you don't need to go and start buying isbn amazon gives you their own isbn for free so if you like publish 100 books you get 100 free isbn numbers okay richmond is asking can we still get the author's bundle at a discount Hmm, <laughs> it's not at a discount. Maybe I'll do something for Workers' Day for Authors Bundle, but for now, it is not on a discount. When does the 24 hours window close? It closes Sunday at 12 midnight. It closes Sunday at 12 midnight, okay? <laughs> Joseph says, teacher, you're just amazing. Knowledge shared here is so powerful. Um, Mercy says, mom, are you using laptop for everything? Yes, it's a lot easier to use laptop because it's a bigger screen, it's easy to see, and there are a lot more options on laptop than with your phone, okay? So Seke says, throw more light on ISBN, I've done that. If you're publishing with Amazon, Amazon gives you a free ISBN for every book you publish, whether it's Kindle or whether it's print on demand, paperback book, Amazon gives you ISBN, okay? Um, Tanwa says, do you teach how to create low content books from scratch in the course? I teach you how to publish workbooks and planners with a low content book onto Amazon, all right? So yeah, it is there. Mm. Oluwa Tomilana says, is it necessary to include page numbers in notebooks, line or blank? It's not necessary, but however, if it's a blank book, you want to make sure that you are putting some sort of wording on the book so that it is not completely empty. Because if there is no wording, Amazon will say your pages are empty and they will refuse to print it. They don't want to print blank pages, okay? So you usually want to put some sort of design on, on one of the edges of the book or in the middle of the book or do some sort of thing on the book so that it is not completely empty. So usually we, we would add um, page numbers 
so that the book is not completely empty. Okay. All right. Any further questions? Um, Marvella says, on average, the cost of ebooks on Amazon is 2.5. How come your book is $23? My book is not an ebook. That book is not an ebook, it's a paperback book. Let me show you. All right. So you can see here, it is not ebook, it is paperback. All right. And this is not a journal, this is a planner. And it is proper work. It's a guide. Let me show you here. It's a guide. So I basically teach in this. All right. So that's why it has my name on it because this has to do with my brand. Okay. So inside of it, I teach how to pick a niche, how to choose your message, how to uh, choose a product, how to do your marketing plan. So it's a proper guide. This is like a book, book, book proper, but it's just a workbook. Yeah. So that's why it is priced like that. All right. Mm hmm. Any other questions? Um, where, do we, where will you add page lines? Where will I add page lines? I think I have explained that. In, you can get the replay in case you missed it. All right, I've answered that question again. Can we use Pioneer account on Etsy? I don't think so. I think you need to have a PayPal account that actually receives payment to be able to be on Etsy, all right? Take note that um, the audience here is a very wide audience. It's not just Nigerians who unfortunately cannot receive payments via PayPal. We have people from all over the world here. That's why I have to include Etsy as a platform for teaching, okay? But if you can get a PNA account that works, fine. You can use that on your, on your Etsy account, okay? Um, Chime says, you're amazing, value loaded and powerful. Brenda says, thanks a lot, VC, for the session. Betty says, we love you, VC. Um, Amina says, the size you use now is 8 by 11, right? Because I tried, but it's saying something on dimension, not allowed. Yes, the size I used is 8 by 11, 8 inches by 11 inches, okay? Um, Sekia says, is there a cloud-based platform you can recommend to save up PDF files or videos? Yes. Amazon S3, Amazon's web services, Amazon S3. So Google Amazon S3, you can actually save up your PDF files and videos there. Yeah. Um, okay, Idika says, can the, okay, I think I've answered this. Can the designs on Canva be used for notebooks for sale without any copyright issues? Make sure you're not using um, a pro a pro design when you are using a free account. Okay, you have to be very careful about that. Um, Tamilana says, if we buy this bundle of 10K, when you do the one for, for other platforms such as Shopify, will it be discounted to for us? You know what? I will discount it for everybody who's on this particular Facebook group, the low income uh, products Facebook group. I will discount it for everybody there. So even if people um, already, what are people who already had Amazon printed profits bundle before? All right. So we'll still give them that. All right. Can we use Pioneer? I can't okay, answer that. Is it free to post on Amazon or do you have to subscribe? Uh, you can, Amazon accounts is free. You create a free account on Amazon. You can publish for free on Amazon, but whenever you make a sale, Amazon gets a piece of your profits. It's called royalties. So whenever you get um, a sale, you get royalties. Amazon gets a cut out of it, okay? Um, Vicky is having issues, says, it says, I have the cart empty, I'm tired of trying. Maybe you want to wait till the video is over, refresh your device, and then start again. It may be possible that the device may be overloading, or maybe the website itself and the, the link itself is um, being overflowed because there are a lot of people on it right now trying to buy. So maybe wait a while when the class is over, you can then go back, refresh, and then try it again because we already received payments on my end. I can see the payments coming in already. I've been hearing the notifications since. So they're coming in. So, um, yeah. All right. <laughs> so Brenda said you can pass for Amazon brand ambassador. Well, I love Amazon. It's just a lot easier for me. Awesome. I'm glad you were able to get it right this time. I mean, well done. All right. 
Can we get the Yes, well done to everyone. I hope this class has been valuable to you. Remember that you only have 24 hours to get the Amazon Printed Profits Bundle at 10,000 naira only um, and save 50K because it will not happen again, all right? This is the last time in a long time that we'll ever be putting out Amazon Printed Profits Bundle on sale ever again. So if you don't get it now, sorry, you're going to have to miss it and then eventually get it at the actual price when you see your mates starting to testify about the goodness of the Lord and their lives and how they're able to build massive businesses on Amazon, right? And I would most likely talk, maybe talk about um, another class or tutorial or something on the other platforms. But trust me, guys, the best platform to actually get on is Amazon, all right? You can do a seller, you can do Shopify, you can do Etsy, those are great. but speaking from experience amazon has been the best platform for sales it's been the best it's been because it has the highest number of, of users has the highest number of customers and it has the highest margin for profit as well when you're selling stuff on other platforms okay so if you're thinking of starting a stationary business amazon is the best place to start notebooks are the easiest things to create they are the easiest things to create and you can create amazing notebooks within minutes put it up on Amazon and you're good to go, all right? So um, please take advantage. Every one of you who has gotten Amazon Printed Profits Bundle, please go and practice. I want to see your testimonials like I saw for Binta, like I saw for Rahima, like I saw for Mrs. I think it's Mrs. Akinola as well, and other people who have actually taken action and are making serious, serious profits already, all right? My voice is gone. <laughs> I think I've tried for tonight. Thank you so much for listening. I will leave the replay up until morning so people who came late can actually watch from the beginning again. Okay? Has this been valuable to you? Has this been valuable to you? Please remember to take your screenshots and post it on your Instagram stories. Take your screenshots and post it and tag me, please. All right? So that um, I can repost you and thank you very much for showing up. That's the best. That's the least you could do. Right? This has been amazing. This has been how many hours? This has been almost three hours of free value. So, so guys, make sure you get the Amazon Printed Profits Bundle now while you still can. And see you guys later. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Here's my real face. Here's my real face. So take a screenshot. Let me smile. This has been one serious class. I have given value, all right? So this is free value. So imagine, imagine how good the paid value is going to be. Imagine how good the Amazon printed profit is going to be, all right? So um, take, take action on everything you've learned here. Take action on everything that you're going to be learning on Amazon printed profits bundle. Tell everyone, share it on your, on your, on your Instagram stories, tag me as well so I can repost as well. Thank you so much again for listening. Have a wonderful night. Talk to you later.